particularly interested. You're not particularly interested? I definitely had a really sore gooch for like the last week or two when I was riding bikes. <laughs> I don't know why, but like, you know when your gooch kind of just feels raw? No. You never had your gooch feel raw? Um, like if you had to wipe like too many times, like you had way too much spicy food that didn't agree with you? Or like the flu? Oh, uh, well, yeah, like that, that shit does happen, I guess. I could agree with it felt like that though, but like I have a bidet, so I wipe once just as like a double check. Yeah, like I started off on. You and your dry bidet. Off. Yeah, yeah, the bidet's great. <laughs> you just don't get it because you're afraid of it. Oh, by the way, uh, welcome to the Dick's Patio, number t- episode number two, where we just talk about bullshit and yeah, here we go. Yeah. Two of what? Two. Two, two of first Why season. Is this not- It says it's working, but it's not working. What's not working? Maybe it's working. Okay, now it's fully working. Was it partially working before? Did it? I, I, I have no idea, but it's working, so that's all that matters in the end. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So we're, I was talking about my gooch. Gooch. My gooch was really sore and raw feeling, and I was saying, you know, that doesn't happen very often. And I use a bidet, so I didn't like overwipe or anything. And I was just like, Did you guys ever you get? Do you like the. Uh, Spin bike? Uh, no. Are you working out? No. no. Yeah, usually, I, I mean, I know I usually don't wear, like, any underwear or shorts with it when I do the spin bikes at, the, at work, but I've never had any complaints about it. I just have a really salty, sweaty bicycle seat when I'm done. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, it's the butt sweat. So yeah. then, like, are you, like, itching it weird? No. Like... <laughs> no I, 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 don't, I don't, don't know that I've ever directly itched my ass crack, like, in the center you of You don't think you've head. ever itched your ass crack? That yeah. sounds like Maybe I have. Shit. Maybe yeah, I have. like... Come on. Dude, you can like you can do it like creative ways. I've been I've done it while driving a semi before. That is awesome. That sounds t- pretty dope actually. Yeah. So scratch your gooch while driving? I mean, yeah, but Yeah, because I don't wear a seat belt, by the way, people wear seat belts when you're driving. <laughs> but like I lifted up the I lifted up the like the um the armrest and the actual clicker kind of sits higher so oh like God. i was like <laughs> <laughs> you're humping your seat oh scratching my so, butthole yeah yeah because your hand wouldn't have done you know how awkward it is to like try to lean over while driving i mean yeah the thing about how awkward it was for you to get up out of your seat a little bit and go hey guys no no i mean you just kind of do this and then you just kind of s- swirl your butt around <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's kind of like a bidet I've still never used a bidet, and I don't. I'm still scared of why, one. Why, I don't know. I don't know why I'm scared of one. It's I just glorious. don't want the water, like forceful water, to go it's like up that, the crest. It doesn't go up. It's like, it like, it like kind of like at an angle, <laughs> and it just kind of bounces off and back into the toilet bowl. Yeah, it's it's not like it's a forceful scenario either. Like it has pressure, but it's not like fucking like crazy high. It's like they look like a fucking like. Gas powered pressure washing ball. <laughs> it's not quite like that. You can turn it that high, but. That's like the max. <laughs> that's, that's when you've had Taco Bell so, for three meals in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure wash it off. Everything's just a paste. <laughs> just a paste. Yeah, I, I don't know why you're so afraid of it. I don't know. It's like, it's like one of those like irrational fears for no fucking reason. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It, it just scares me. It's probably one of those things that I try it, and then it just immediately, like, oh, I like this. Yeah, and then you're like, God, the buy one. Maybe we should just buy one and put it in. They're like we 20 have, bucks. Power, right? I don't. 20 bucks. You don't even need a power one. No, I don't. like, fuck it. If I'm going to buy one, they're like 100 A decent one's like 100 bucks. They're like 200 for a Okay, so one. then the 200 We'll make fucking Scott fucking bitch half it, and we'll fucking do the thing. Well, but you just okay. bought that lifetime supply of toilet paper. Oh, we're down to our last yeah, roll. Yeah, we're on the last roll. How? I it's used been like... Six months since I bought it. Yeah. I use a roll of toilet paper every two months. If that. You're alone, and you don't shit as much as we do. <laughs> what do you mean? Again, you have a bidet now, so you can't yeah. say anything. Yeah, that's true. Point. You, you can take, like, four... <laughs> that's li- my point. I, like, I, can see that. Avery, I can see Avery, like, getting four squares of toilet paper and then perfectly folding them into squares and just go, like... <laughs> so what you're saying is... <laughs> <laughs> you also don't know why my gooch is so raw. Here. No, like okay. that's what we're trying to decide here. Like, like did you like? Did you have a hairy crack? Into, like a counter or I'm something? I'm thinking maybe it was like an ingrown hair. Oh. I don't shave my crack, but you know. Oh. No. Who knows? 
You want to do the intro? You already did the intro. No. Yeah, I just said it welcome. It was working to... when we did it. Uh, yeah. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, it's solid. No, didn't know if it recorded it or not. But. Yeah, I'm going to restart <coughs> the thing. If it didn't record it, then fuck it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It is what, what it is. What questions were you going to ask me? Oh, the new Adams Family uh, movie. First question is, uh, what's the butler's name again? I can never remember his name. Mm. Mm. Seth, or Dick, you want to Google that one for us? Yeah. The butler's name? Yeah, the butler's name. He was by far my favorite character out of the entire movie. Uh, Just be, he, it was awesome. Name. Just sounded like you ripped ass for people that aren't watching. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's gonna happen at some point too. Yeah. Um, no, but it was like it was different compared to like the old movies. Mm-hmm. Lurch. Lurch. Lurch was Lurch. amazing, but it was different. Uh. Yeah. But he was he like talk a little bit. Mm. It was cool, <laughs> and um, but it was different because like the the fam at the Adams family itself was like a cast out of society, which usually most of the movies they were still a part of their society. Mm-hmm. They were just kind of loners. They were weird. Yeah, but in this one they did uh, like the people around them had like pitchforks and stuff like that. And driving them away from their homes, hmm. but toward at the end of the movie, they became a part of the society, which was like it kind of brought it full circle back. It was cool. Hmm. I enjoyed it. Yeah, that's all I had to say about the. I other you were thing. gonna ask me a question relating to it. It was lurch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, a simple Google search. More could, of the stories we need to watch Adam Sandler. Yeah, just to see lurch. What, what is it called? Huh. It's just the animated... I don't know, oh, it's, it's an anim- animated one? Yeah, it's a Disney movie, I mm. think. I think it's Disney. I but it's good. have no idea if it's fucking Disney or not. I'll take mushrooms and watch it. I don't want to watch it. You might sober. enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to watch all... I like watching cartoons, but I mean, I have nephews that I can blame for that. Yeah. Like, I watched Moana hundreds of times. Moana! I don't know what that is. You don't know what Moana is? I know it's like a Hawaiian or yeah, New Zealand themed. No, it's Hawaiian. Or that area. Animated movie, but that's mm-hmm. all I know. It's Polynesians. Disney movies. They're Polynesians. Polynesians. Yeah. What it, do, you, do you have an old Disney f- favorite? Oh, Mulan for sure. Mulan? Yeah. Okay. Name, a, name a Disney movie better than Mulan. Hercules. Wrong. Aladdin. Wrong. No. <laughs> Dick, you have any input? Disney movie? He doesn't watch movies or TV. Did you watch movies when you were younger? younger, I watched movies. It's like I never watched movies before. I just you uncultured swine. No. Uh, Snoop Dogg's in the fucking new Adams Family. I was trying to see who it was. It's Universal. Yeah, it was when when Thing rolled up. He was in like an old caddy, bumping some Snoop Dogg, and he just comes out with a pimp cane. (laughs) 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 It was awesome. I I've never watched movies. You've never seen my favorite movies. So. West End? Oh. Southland Tales? Southland Tales. Yeah, no. What the fuck that is? It's basically a book series that I've never read, but the movie's great, in hmm. my opinion. Kind of like The Witcher. It's like, it's like one of like, The Rock's like, first like big films that didn't get fucking pushed in the right way. It has like, The Rock in it, Mandy Moore, Sarah Michelle Gellar. The um, perfect combination Sasso, for a movie Kevin that Smith. isn't going to do well. Uh, yeah, it's weird. That's why I didn't do well. Like it's, it's not that like it's, it was not gonna do well anyways. Cause it's a weird fucking movie. I'm but down to watch it. I just we just need to find it because it's almost the, as physically impossible to find. What was the last movie of Mandy Moore was in? I don't even know who that is. I she's a very '90s actress. She was a fucking art, like a music artist in the late '90s, early 2000s. Before she was an actress, it was definitely 2000s. Late two, late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah, like, semantics. Semantics. Friggin' semantics. Um, let's see here. Mandy Moore movies. I'm kind of bummed you guys didn't get malt liquor 40s. I don't really like it. Um, I had, I've had one Mickey's she in my entire in life and it was forced a upon movie me. Last year. Big what, way? What, was it, what a girl wants, like 12. What a girl wants. 
one of the that was, uh, that was fucking... I know it's not her singing it, but I think she started in the movie. What movie? What, what a Girl, girl wants? wants. Didn't you already say that? Uh, yeah. We need a laptop sitting on the table right now. <coughs> Fact checking. Do you want it? Go ahead. Go get one. <laughs> Do you want me to go get it? Eh, I don't know where I'd put it. It'd be in the way Your the laptop's up there, by the way. I borrowed it earlier. That's updating it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it has not no, moved. Need it. So, like, she's been in, like, quite a few movies, actually. Mandy Moore. Uh, that's not like an old kid song in Mandy Moore. On no, that's a birthday, like, the it add-on birthday song. Mandy Moore on Channel 4. Big Fat Liar on Channel... I don't know. You're just making shit up. No! I'm not. I don't know what you're saying right now. It's a kid, like... So after you sing Happy Birthday, it was always, like, The Big Fat Lady on Channel Lady. What an awful song, by the way. Have you guys ever, like, consciously listened to how the birthday song sounds? Like the standard one? Happy birthday yeah, to... It doesn't sh- sound happy. Well, and, and the worst part make is, it in German, own. it literally sounds exactly the same. It's am Geburtstag, wir Glück. Am wir Glück. Alles Gutes, lieber dich. Am Geburtstag, wir Glück. Literally. Why the fuck do you even know that? I know a little mm. German. Talk. Why? At least the uh, Spanish birthday song is better. Feliz, no. no. Feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> What the fuck? No, no, no. The, yeah, the Merry person who has like gone to Mexico the most out of anybody here is like, I don't know any Spanish. I told you, get, dude, get Duolingo. I need to do my Duolingo right now. I'm going to tab out for about 30 seconds, boys. I'm still following along, though. <laughs> 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 I just want to know why you know any German at all. It's not purposeful. I took three years of German in high school. <clears throat> why? Because we had a, I had a grandfather, a great-grandfather. No, grandfather. Great-grandfather. Or maybe it was a great uncle. What about was, a great great? He was the old. He was the old guy in the family. He was just old. And he pretty much didn't. He's just like the great everything. Yeah, he pretty much didn't speak any English. He spoke very limited, and of that was very angry. And I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna learn to speak German and speak to grandpa." And then we he just made fun of everyone when we were at holiday parties. All right, that's fair enough. <laughs> that's a fair enough reason. Like, if you just took German to learn German, there's like no real point. I mean, it was fun though. I German would be fun to speak. I mean. Literally, if you wanted to yell at somebody... I mean, everything sounds angry. Yeah. I'll agree with that. Yeah. But it's it's one of those things, like, it's it's fairly useless in the United States. I mean, any language in the United States, except for Spanish, is useless Well, yeah, in the Spanish, that's what I mean. Spanish is, is fine. Yeah, unless you, unless you want to be, like, a translator for, like, the government, then you have to have, you have to be, like, you have to have a minimum of four languages that you know. Yeah. And I think that's on the low end. Well, I just, it depends on if what you're trying to do because if you're specializing in one language, you don't have to do that. No, that's fair. I've always wanted to learn Russian. I know, like, um, a formal goodbye. The big problem with Russian is that, like, it's the language is so different. Oh, it, yeah, there's some... What, um, the characters so many, don't yeah. do the same thing. Yeah, and there's so many vari- variations of the actual uh, yeah, language it's like, itself. Yeah, it's like any, like, when we were, like, learning some of the Arabic and the Saudis, like, it's like... Well, you can say it like four different fucking ways, and it's like, why? What's the fucking point? <laughs> Fair enough. Or at least with Spanish, you know, like, we could definitely use that on like a daily basis. I mean, I have fucking been town on this already. Do what? Oh, did you? No, you can. Yeah. I ate too much. Well, that's oh, what happens when you get a hamburger. No, we got one sandwich. Oh. We got one sandwich and six chicken nuggets. I was surprised that you fucking got two sandwiches, too. Chicken nuggies? I always get two sandwiches if I get the double stack. It's perfect. Yeah, I usually don't finish them. I have, like, two bites be- left, and I was like, I feel really bad for eating this fast food, so I just don't want it anymore. Yeah, well. Yeah. Probably well, we shouldn't, you know, that's why we just need to cook more anyways, and not fucking do this shit. Fuck it. All the food. <laughs> oh, you want the rest of my fries? Yes, I do. Yes, and I'll have the diabetes ketchup to go with it. Yeah, why yeah, not? There's a whole bunch nice. of sugar in it. So much sugar. I mean, Avery over here, he likes to fucking just take soy sauce in the face. Fuck yeah, I still do. I found Sodium. Out that, I found out that Katie does it too, and I was like, glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, 
Katie. You're my soulmate, Katie. She's so fucking weird. She's very like healthy, weird, but that's okay. She's weird. I'm weird. Yeah. Drink soy sauce. Isn't there like coloring in it, and she doesn't do the coloring? No. No, it's her Also drink pickle juice straight out of the jar. Mm. Pickle juice is awesome. I love the pickle juice. Pickle juice is okay. I like I love pickles with like straight pickle juice without fucking booze in it. It's not really my jam. It's pretty good. I know. I, I it's, it's not really my jam. I don't know why. Claws and pickles. Yeah, mm. those are the best pickles in the world. Yeah. Uh, Sprouts make some really good spicy ones. They're, they're soaked in um they get a like a cut up habanero in it and a couple jalapenos. Yeah. Pretty sp- they're not pretty spicy, but they're a little spicy and they're fucking delicious. But they're also like seven dollars for like a jar. Damn. Oh, what's up, Jack? Your mom plays along. Hopefully she plays along with a pickle juice. Pickle juice? <laughs> no, it hasn't gone to that part yet. What? It's behind. What's behind? Mom um, plays along with what? Oh, whatever. Yeah. Um yeah. It's, it's gonna have some delay in it just because we're going through two services before we get there. Yeah, that's yeah. True. Well, you um, must, might also have a delay set up. I think it natively is. Well, it's like 20 seconds on Twitch. On, on I was at five seconds when I was streaming. Yeah, I just have it set to stock because it doesn't really matter at this point in time. Oh, so. uh, no. Just in case we need to censor ourselves. No. I just don't give a shit. I'll take my shirt off right now and get your Twitch channel banned. <laughs> no. Well. They they banned other guys for doing it, streaming with with a without a shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. That's silly. Yeah. Where women can wear their booby shirts. Maybe I'll just get a booby shirt. Just a booby around. shirt. Yeah. You can buy them in Mexico. They have them all over. No no no, like a really low cut shirt. Is this scripted? Uh, totally Fuck you. scripted. Totally scripted. Yes. Scripted. Yeah, completely one hundred percent scripted. Yeah, we were t- we're talking about languages, man. And that was what we were talking about. So we had it on the list. That's it. So you like, what did you do with your Duolingo? Did you just not do it? You, no, you it's get, like you just gotta do a lesson. It's like five minute, not even five minutes. It's like two and a half minutes. Yeah. yeah. And I learned some new words. Did you? Yeah. What words did you learn? Cabrera Ten is. <laughs> Ten points. That's points. Okay. I don't want internet points. I want internet money. Um, no. Uh, so Duolingo. It's I learned waiter, waitress, or waiter, and escuela, which is school. It's really easy. Mm-hmm. If you spend 10, 20 minutes a day, like that's what I do. Like for like half my lunch break, is I'll just read or do that. And I think I've got like thirty-five hours in it. Do you know what the word for receipt is? I mean, the reality is that you can no. do this when you're just driving a truck the yeah. whole time. Or no, but the, you actually nothing. have to, like, look at your phone and, yeah. like, type things. You're just sitting there fucking doing fuck all waiting to dump your shit. Yeah, I mean, I think that's how I would learn better is, like, just, like, have some Spanish playing and then be like, this is what this yeah, means. Instead like, of, like, know, reading it and doing it. You're interacting with the Vato so they can, like, you can No. Oh, true, true, true. No, no. I prefer soft cash. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you could learn really yeah. easily. Like, you could be very fluent in Spanish by the time you go again in a year. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Most people in a semester of courses learn about 30 hours of language. So I've done a semester course in about a month. <clears throat> That's not bad. I think I, I mean, I have plenty of time. I mean, and then I got into listening to podcasts and not falling asleep. You could do Spanish podcasts. There's Ooh, that'd, one that'd be like higher level. <laughs> no, they they make some really simple ones for people that are like learning Spanish. Oh, okay. Just turn the closed captioning on. Watch fucking Tom Segura's fucking new podcast. There you go. I love it. He does in Spanish. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. His mom was like from like Peru or something. Oh. The other thing is 550. We should get a Fox Body Mustang. Just saying. No. Do mean... you say no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Though. I'd rather have the Nissan. Why would you rather have the Nissan? I don't know. There's an S13. Then the fucking a Fox Body is so cheap and easy. They're like four or five grand. I mean, all those I cars are roughly around that. Like, I saw an S13. Like I saw an S13 for sale in with like 30,000 miles on it. In Seattle for like fifteen grand. That's a lot of dough, but that's a lot for low miles. 
It's very low mileage. Very low mileage. You can I mean, just mute it? I don't know. It is muted. Or it's all the way yeah, down. it's all the way down. Um, all the way down. All the I've way I've never down. been a... He, I, I've never been a huge fan of, like, the older Mustangs. Like, the old, like, Mach 1s. Those were cool. But... Right. Older Mustangs are best Mustangs. Not like the, the new, 90s. New, new ones. They're good. I like the new ones. I mean, since they've had the 5.0, like, they've been pretty solid. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, the 4.6, 300 horsepower ones are kind of mm, special. Still, I'm still looking for the Continental. Still yeah, we need to get that Conti, but I really want a fucking... I really want a power strip of Conti. It'd be fun as fuck. What's up, uh, Corporal IDK? Oh, that's uh, my sister. Oh, are you going to draw another, um, Silly ass picture. <laughs> that was hilarious. Hey, did you show Avery? No. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't put it on, on, on a fucking site yet, but, so I can't post it, but that shit is so fucking funny. When you watch those baseball like videos. So she was listening to me stream the other night and drew that. <laughs> 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 it was fucking fantastic. That's hilarious. I, I want to do fun. that. That'd be badass. Not that. Yeah, that right probably you'd be doing most of the time. <laughs> 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 like crazy. I mean, yeah. I mean, now we have a truck that we can like take up to the um, the bike parks now. And not have to worry about it yeah. blowing up. Yeah, we don't have to worry about like anybody else's stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh. How do you guys feel about your forties? It's fun, like. You want to sip of my Mickey's? It was always a good idea. No, I don't. But they can. <laughs> I'll try it out. Fuck it for me. Some old school Mickey's. What? Get a, drink a little Mickey's, put a little orange juice in. That's like yeah. see, that's like per. That's what he was saying. That was that's perfect for Mickey's, but like straight Mickey's, no, I don't like it. Yeah, fuck it. It's pretty good. I don't know about pretty good, but it's a thing. Do it's you, pretty good for malt liquor. Do you see in the springs they put in like a um, like an old school mead bar, like a Viking Vikings bar. Yeah, meat is in, is interesting. It can be either like really fucking good or really fucking bad. Never had it. Um, let's see here. I'm going to put. Yeah, I don't. I, it's you've never had meat. No, I've never had meat. It's just it tastes but, like very sweet lager. Yeah, because isn't it's it made usually carbonated. made from like it's not honey? Carbonated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I've never gone to a Renaissance festival or anything either. Because they sell it there, don't they? You've never been to a Renaissance festival? No. We need to go visit the one near my mom's house this summer. I'm sure, she'd be happy to have all of us if we want to drink there. It's pretty fun, actually. It's, it's really like a nice. week and a week and a half long. Is that how long they no, last? No, it's all summer. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so we could go on like a weekend or something like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. I'd be down. It's something to do. do is it's there only, like? It's only like for like one month. It's from like. No, it's. Is it two? It's June through mid-August. But they only do it on weekends. Yeah, so it's like a month and a half, two months. Oh, so they only do it on weekends? Yeah. Okay. I'd be down to like go down there um, like on a, like a Friday evening after we get off of work, like drive down there, and then like go to the Renaissance Festival on a Saturday, and then if there's any good biking trails up there, do that on a Sunday, there's and then drive back. biking trails. Yeah, and then come back, like come back after that. weekend out of it? Yeah. I'd be down. I really want to like ride my bike a little bit more this year. We could oh. take, we could take your truck truck up uh, Mount Herman Road and uh, go camping as long as we weren't dumb about driving it up there. It's a very fun road to drive, but there's a lot of. Is it narrow? It's not terrible. I've taken, I've driven a full size Land Cruiser, or Land Cruiser up it. Yeah, but Super Duty's a little bit larger than that. Yeah, Super I'm aware. Super Duty Long Bars. But. Yeah. yeah, you did get the fucking gargantuan length. Yeah, yes, yesterday I was pulling in, I was going to get a burrito, and this 
parking lot is not big. I just never kind of noticed it. And then... That's because you drove a fucking Wrangler prior to this. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, like, I start trying to park it. I'm like, oh, shit, this is a lot longer than I thought it was. I was, like, in four different spots. <laughs> That's a ridiculous, it's ridiculous, like, and your, your Wrangler's, like, not even half of it. I could never park that thing straight to save my life, though, because it was so short. I go from, like, one of the shortest vehicles to, like, the longest fucking vehicle. Yeah, I mean, luckily you're, like, used to, like, driving a fucking tandem anyways. So. Oh, yeah, I'm used to driving big shit. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Still pretty ridiculous, going from a Wrangler to a fucking... Full length Super Duty. Oh, I'm, I'm so giddy still. The only way that it would have like, weirder is if it was a fucking Dually. Yeah, no, I would never buy a Dually. I have no purpose to buy a Dually. That's the one when you're telling a fuck time. Yeah, that's like a work kind of thing. I still don't think Charlie needs one, but, I mean, it is what it is. It's Charlie, so. Well, he's telling me, he's like, well, yeah, um, when I bought the, um, when I bought the trailer, they, they, like, made me require to have a Dually. I'm like, no. no they it's like, yeah, because it could go, it, you can, um, it goes over a certain, you can haul over a certain amount of weight with it. And you're like, they're just looking to sell a freaking RV. They don't give a shit what you're driving. No. They'll sell you that RV if you had a mini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, get somebody to come pick it the fuck up. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. That's. That's, that's that's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. Do you look more into that RV from last night? I didn't, but I want to see pictures of it. It's pretty old. Yeah, of course it's old. I sent it to you. Yeah, I looked at okay. it. I looked at it. Okay. A little bit this morning. I haven't driven by to see if that fucking bread delivery van is still available. That'd be cool. Oh, is that what you're going to make into your van? That it'd goes be super cross cool. country? It'd only go like 60 miles an hour, but it'd be super cool. Dope. So, I mean, we just fucking... Put some juice behind it. Build a fucking LS motor for it. That'd be really fun. You guys seen the Winnebago that the guys swapped the turbo LS into? No, but that sounds like a miserable fucking packaging scenario. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, 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 it took like three months of consistent work to like get it together. But it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Until it blows the fuck up because it's, yeah, fully... Oh my god, that's so crazy. The transmission's gotta be like cool but crazy. Yeah, they have two transmission coolers apparently. Yeah, because that shit would be fucking like so beat down. Yeah, like, right, yeah. The temperatures would be crazy. Turbo LS? Fuck me. Is Jack on Mixer? No, he's on, uh, uh yeah, he's on Mixer. Huh. Interesting. He's not currently watching us, but. I was just curious. Probably on his Xbox. Oh, yeah. we're live. That is how you shatter a knee. I still think we should get into extreme uh, unicycling. unicycling. I'm just, why didn't we go to the unicycle festival thing that was here? We were here or something. We were. Yeah, we were. I telling you we should go, but I think. We yeah, were we were gonna do the mountain biking one. Yeah, there was there was there was I oh no it was the weekend that I went to fucking um, that was down in uh, Palm Springs. Mm. Carl that's Carl why Springs? I couldn't go. Yeah, that's when we did the that's when we did the Spartan. oh the Spartan yeah yeah. yeah. Carson. That's why I couldn't fucking go. Because I wanted to, because I was on the fa- and I fucking found it. Because mm-hmm. that shit would have been fucking hilarious to fucking do. Hilarious. Fucking hilarious. I wonder if they do it again this year here. I'm sure they will. I don't, they don't have a reason to get rid of it. Well, it's, or I mean, depends on. Oh, uh, is it like a sponsored kind of thing? Well, it was the world championship unicycling. And yeah. Maybe they just liked it here so much, and they had the best turnout well, ever, so they're gonna come back. Dope. That is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Missing out those two fucking clowns that were here last fucking week. Fucking like. Oh yeah, just bullshit. yeah. <sighs> the fart in your I sister. Didn't, I didn't yawn. I was stretching. Oh, that did not look good. This, Ooh. that was like a rolling thing. Mm. Good to the face. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm just thinking about what I need to pack for Mexico. <laughs> Mexico! What, what, what do you need to pack? Clothes, Clothes and that dive shorts. gear. Uh, yeah, I think Flip I'm... Flip-flops. I think I'm going to take these dirty pants with me, to be 100% honest. Not planning on wearing them. Yeah, I was like... But, I mean, if I do, I mean, I don't really give a flying rat's ass if they're dirty or not, so... No! Well, who gives a shit? Yeah. They're fucking jeans. What's so, I was going to take, like, maybe two pairs of socks... Pair of shoes. The rest is just shorts and tank tops and shirts. Yeah. So why do you need to think about that? Planning, man. Just <laughs> planning. Obviously, you're planning heavy at this point in time. You pack a backpack too? Yeah, I'm bringing a backpack. It was gonna be my personal item, so you can bring a backpack too. Right, yeah. Maybe a smaller one. What airline are you just flying? United. United. Oh. So you get a personal. You, you get a personal item and a carry on. No, you Not have to pay. Free. Yeah, you have to pay. It's like for... forty-five bucks for a carry-on, I think. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and it's like awesome. forty-five fifty for a check bag, which we're doing. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, if you pay, if you paid like extra, for, because I think we got the lowest tier of the um, ticket, so we don't even get to choose our seats or anything, and we might not even sit next to each other. Whenever it's like a fucking like three-hour flight. Yeah, I think it's about it's four. Okay, so four hours. I mean, it is what it is. We all yeah. get there at the same fucking time. Do you sleep on planes? Oh, I do. Yeah? yeah almost instantly. Yeah, me too. I can um, sometimes do it. It depends if I'm tired enough. I'm going to have to stay up pretty late on Friday night to be tired enough to sleep on the plane. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. I'm going to stay up till like... I'm not pretty late. I'm going to stay up till like midnight. Yeah, we got to wake up at like four, though. I know. Or you got to wake up at four. Yeah, I offered is like, do you just want to stay down at my parents' house? He's like, no, I'll sleep better at my house. That's true. You're only getting four hours of sleep. I'll probably go to bed at 11. Do a couple shots of whiskey, go to sleep. Fair enough. As long as you don't miss it. Just going to have a couple shots. <laughs> I don't have to, but I'm going to do it. Do it. I mean, you're breaking your sobriety now. Kind of. I can't do Jaeger anymore. I drank it too much. Like all I mean, to I, I know that you drank a hell of a lot more Jaeger than I have in my life, but... You're just fuck a that. fucking pussy! Yeah, probably. It's like all I drink when we go to Tony's, I feel like. Jaeger? Yeah. No. I don't... I think I've maybe seen you order a Jaeger shot once. Well, when you guys order shots, what do I drink? I don't know. Jaeger. Usually Jaeger. Is Jaeger, it? Yeah. Oh, I guess I don't pay attention. Yeah, because he doesn't do the Red Bull, so... Yeah, you like, guys do the... No Vegas Bombs. Vegas, Vegas Bombs. Bomb. Have you ever watched the baseball memes that where it like comes right at the camera? Do you guys jump at those? No. Oh, I do all the fucking time. It's like, oh, damn. <laughs> it takes a lot. What the fuck? Uh, it takes a lot for me to just jump anyways. Like, you gotta think about it like that. Like The sad thing is I know it's coming. And I was a catcher in baseball. I did that all the time. I got like, I was about to say balls to the face mask I mean, all the time. But, do, but Yeah. But all the freaking time. And it was like, oh. Uh, I'm not a jumping person. I remember, like, like when I was, like, filling my water at work, and, like, somebody like, came up, like, it was Eric that worked in SWAT. Mm -hmm. He came up and was, like, hey, I was, like, and I was, like, and, like, he, like, tried to scare me. I was, like, whatever, dude. Like, <laughs> it's just working in the shop. Like, you just get used to, like, random bangs and bullshit. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Or you just have really slow reactions. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, like, dude, slow just, reactions, and you're, like, and then you can already think about what, like, what that was. You're, like, <laughs> No. Oh. I mean, you both know me. I'm not really slow reaction time. Do pretty well video games. Decent, yeah. Yeah. I think we all do pretty decent. Yeah, we do. We do okay. I'm getting my ass kicked in Counter Strike. Yeah. Not that I've been doing poorly. I guess I should just say I haven't been winning. You know. Well, shit teams. Yeah, but like, that just means I need to be better. <laughs> <laughs> you need to carry the team. Oh, carry. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, My thing cool. is like I always like do like decent Counter Strike. I just don't. I just don't like it. What's up, dude? Colin P. What's up, Colin? What up, Colin? How's it going? This is a podcast. This is Avery. I am Seth. This is Dick. <laughs> this is Dickless. We just kind of talk about <laughs> stupid random shit. Um, yeah, uh, if you have anything you want to talk about, just let us yes, know in the comments, yeah, and then we'll probably shoot it down like always, but no. 
<laughs> <laughs> We're drinking some 40s tonight. Thought what, it was a 40 night. What is a skill you guys wish you, you could be good at, but like really good at? What do you mean? Like really good at? Like any kind any, of skill. Any skill. Hmm. That's an interesting question. Like be like really good at it. Yeah. Because I'm like pretty good at like a lot of things. I'll say like I top mean, 10%. I mean. What do you mean? 10% of the world. 10%. Top ten percent. You were in the top ten percent of people at that skill in the world, which means Ooh. you're better than ninety percent of the other people. Yeah, Ooh, that'd be good. A top ten percent. That's an interesting question. Okay, so would this better your life to putting you like making a lot of money? Put just it that way, or just, just a do. skill just in whatever, general. You can do whatever you want with it. We'll say it doesn't affect your, your financial stability in any way. He's, I mean, any kind of skill will do that because then you're a professional no, at it. No, we'll say you then, don't get to. So I can't say like... No, you can't say like... World-class like baseball golfer. player? You can't say like golfer. I got a, I got you got a what's, topic? What's All right, topic? throw it over. Uh, so yeah, you can't be like the top 10% of the world like baseball player. You can't be... Like even if you were a top 10% baseball you player, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you, still wouldn't, you still wouldn't be a professional. Okay. I, you know what? I'm going to go with like what I like to do like already, which is like, I'd probably put like mountain biking in that bitch. But like, that would also make you money though, because then, then you'd be saying, a professional. We're saying but not, I wouldn't be a professional. That you, still you be, can't make any money off I don't, that. I don't think that I would want to be, you'd have, you'd be like top like 1% not biking to like make money off it. Like actual money. Like not like. That's most things. Yeah. You have to be top 10%, 1%. But to like, like, to like actually like be pro and like that kind of stuff. Where it's, that's all you do. But I also don't, like, it'd be fun to travel and do all this shit, but, like, all the training that goes along with, like, pro mountain biking would, would suck. Yeah. Or, like, even, like, pro, like, baseball and that stuff would, like, suck for as long as it would be. Because, like, you can't really do, like, what we're doing now, which is getting shit canned on a Thursday. I mean, that's true. They're just you can training drink once around. a month, yeah. if that, type of thing. Or if you win, like, the World Series or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. But, like, again, yeah. that's still, like, a top 1% scenario. If not more, it's probably more than that, honestly. Okay. So you say mountain biking? I, I'd say mountain biking because that would like you could have like some serious fun, you could do some serious shit, and do some like crazy stuff, but without having to be like, "Am I gonna die today?" Because you just you're, you're that good. At doing yeah, that. you're confident. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. What about you? I haven't decided yet. You haven't decided yet? No, I haven't even thought about it. I've just been listening to your guys, your answer. I don't know yet. I'm, that that's a really freaking good question. Um. Do do do. Okay, you know what? I kind of like a stunt driver, just being like be, being able to control like a car, however the hell I want to do it, and it's like, hey, I want to put it up on two wheels. Boom, there you go. That kind of stuff. Yeah. How about that? You could get there pretty easily. I mean, you could get there pretty easily. Are you saying you're not in the top ten percent? You're saying top ten percent. But are you saying you're like the average driver and how shitty they are? I mean, yes, I am technically by law better drivers than both of y'all. Maybe not you. I think you. Doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, by law, I'm like held to the I mean, higher standards and all that. Driver, yeah. Think about how many shitty professional drivers there are too. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah, there's plenty. That but they're still that. held to the same standards and stuff like that. But I mean, like stunt driving. Should sex work be legal? Oh, that's in a, one of my list of topics. Yeah. Wait, what? Sex work be legal? Should should prostitution be legal? I think it should be legal. And, but I think it should be moderated. There's right. no such thing in as same, regulated, yeah, yeah same regulated thing. prostitution. In the same like way, you're only like, allowed like, to make this much money, so you're only well, allowed you're, to that, sleep that, with like. Is that what your license? Like, those oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you get licensed, that, I, I mean, I agree. Like, I mean, so what? Is, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> you guys are both yelling. It's fine. It'll take the when you. I I also agree that it should be legalized, like fully, because it's, it's already happening. So like. Let's make it like regulated, law, all that stuff. So like, it becomes safer for all the people involved, and it's not like a fucking like underground scenario. Yeah, and in my mind, I mean that it, you're just basically bringing a brothel back. Yeah, it'd I mean, be like it'd cool. be like a liquor store, but it'd be a brothel. Yeah, and that's the thing they can enforce like safety standards in terms of like protection and stuff, and they that would bring into the whole thing like the unions where. 
men and women can get Oh, now you're checked unionizing out, can get prostitutes. Checked out, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, get you should be anyway. STD <laughs> screenings and stuff like that. I mean, that's fair. You just got to you got to like make sure it's safe and all that kind of stuff. And that makes sense. Yes, it's I like agree the same, with that. Same thing as like, I don't know. In my mind like I'm always like, well, with abortion like you don't have to get one. You don't have to go to a brothel. Yeah. Oh, exactly. But I mean, it's already happening. Like just be like Avery and you could probably talk your way into like Sleeping with a stripper at a strip club. Done that. And exactly. So you <laughs> you basically put your hand in the prostitution pool. I wasn't the prostitution. I was the person. Oh, she wanted to sleep with you. Yeah. No. <laughs> Why would I? I don't pay for sex. I've never. <laughs> yeah, that's. Again, it should, it should fully be legalized. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Yeah. Well, what's I mean, your input, Colin? What do you have to say? Yeah. Are you on our side? What or is yours side? and what is your girl thing? So Just let us know. What would I want to be top ten percent in the world? I feel like surfing would be really cool. Being able to drink more? No. <laughs> We're probably already pretty close to that top ten percent. Yeah. <coughs> At least I definitely consider myself there. I would not imply that I'm far off. What else? Wait, what was, what was your answer? What was your Surfing. First? Surfing? That'd be super cool. Be a really good cool, surfer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she won't agree. What, what is her, what is her claim? Yeah, what? Why does she not think that it should be legalized? Yeah, that's a good question. Why? Got to hear the opposite side of the argument. Yeah. Because, like, I could get it if, if you're a fundamentalist and just say, like, sex... Marriage for nothing. <laughs> 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 I could get it if you're a fundamentalist. You just say, like, sex is for marriage, and it's even more fundamentalist people just say it. sex is for procreation and it shouldn't be enjoyed, but, like... Oh, what we're talking we about the church. We're talking about the church now. If it wasn't for enjoyment, also. Exactly. Well, it's because there's plenty of like creatures that don't do it for enjoyment. We're one of the very few to do. Yeah, like think of like the spiders that like get eaten when they have sex, type of thing. Yeah. I don't know if they. Oh, know like that, playing but... mantises and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like oh, there's like we're one of the very few creatures that have pleasure doing it. Like it's. Yeah. Like, what is it? Us and dolphins. That's that's what we know for sure. I'm guessing that you don't think not. monkeys like having sex. Thanks for the fish. Oh, I mean, probably, but I, I think they're doing it more for procreation, not for pleasure. Oh, they're totally enjoying it. Monkeys have sex with other monkeys. Male monkeys have sex with other male monkeys. Gay monkeys. <laughs> you never thought about gay monkeys? No, never, never crossed mine. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's not that they're gay. They just <coughs> want to have sex. Wait, they don't what, even look at it that way. It's what about they, the they crop? Think about it being that they're like, oh, this is not going to happen. What? What if? I mean, what if you get like this tiny female monkey, and then you get like this gorilla? Do you think there's like an attraction there? Oh, kind of like you're ever thinking. You're thinking of species <laughs> lines. You're, you're getting weird with it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to the detail. I mean, it's the same. I, like I, questions. You're, like, the same thing. Like little girls, like fucking big ass dudes. Yeah, that's basically what. Not little girls. Little women. Smaller women. <laughs> All right, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Clarifications. <laughs> but yeah, it's so, like I, I I don't know about all of that. Like I don't even I'm, I haven't thought about that. I don't. I mean, questions that pop in the head when we were talking about this. Yeah, stuff, so it's like boom. I mean, it goes the same way with like dogs. I mean, like a big dog and like a little dog. Yeah, cross species dogs, but usually that's like. Well. I'm a f- whole. You down They're and not different there you species. Go. They're different. They don't do it that way. They're by just the way. different oh, yeah, breeds. Yeah, different yeah, breeds. Really My bad. Not yeah. They're not fucking like. What about the men? She won't rebuttal. What about the men? The men what? can have sex with other men, or women can have sex with the men that are paid sex workers. What? Yeah, I mean, you, there, I'm sure there's a market for paid sex workers that are men also. So, like in that scenario, like. You gotta think of like all like the fucking like late forties fucking women that would totally like be down to do that if it was available to them. Yeah, and I mean, w- women nowadays they're like, oh, I want the the dick, 
so they're gonna go find <laughs> the dick. That's yeah. always nowadays. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's Women true. were not allowed to have sex before 1990. <laughs> well, no. Okay. They, okay. <laughs> okay. They're more open about it. They're more open about it. Because society is allowing them to be. Yes. But they've always wanted. It. But they've always wanted it. Yes, yeah. I agree. So I mean. You gotta think of like all like the fucking like. We uh, there could be male brothels with male prostitutes there. I think that'd be perfect of yeah. all different sizes. Like, hey, I want this kind of dick today. There you go. I think it works on both sides. It does, and the thing is, it's like it's been such like a fucking like down topic for centuries for no reason. Why was it even like discontinued, like brothels and that? It's because kind of... of fucking like modern age Christian bullshit. Oh, so it was the church's power. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Well, it's modern stuff too, because back in the day they didn't they didn't care the same way. That the union name is more directed towards women. Well, then just bodies or objects union. Fuck it, don't even put the women's on there. Wait, the union name? She's he's saying the union name is. Uh... What was it? Women's bodies. Women's bodies are objects union. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just make it fucking bodies are objects union or something. Or just don't even name it that fucking bullshit. I don't know. Like. Yeah. Sex workers union. Easy. Yeah, there you go. That's the union. But like, what else could we do other than surfing? Like, in terms <laughs> of, what did you pick? Uh, stunt driving. Okay. You could get there pretty easily. I mean, if I worked at it and all that. Yeah, if, if, if I had the like the capital to um, like be able to destroy cars, you could learn. do that now. You'd go buy a car every couple months for five hundred bucks, and oh, that's true. I could. It, would, it's, it wouldn't be that expensive. No. To get good at surfing, I'd have to move to another state, let alone maybe another country, and oh no, do it for, you wouldn't have to move to another country. Do California. it for ten years. Cali, Texas. Mm-hmm. Like New Zealand. I don't know about Texas. New Zealand has some of the best surfing in the world. New Zealand well, I mean, and Australia. Yeah. There's definitely surfing in the Gulf. Oh, okay. We should go surfing when we're in Cosmo. Um, you'd have to go to the other side of the island. That's fine. Because we How are, big is we're the fucking island? Um, it's maybe like five miles, six miles wide. It's 35 miles all the way around. I'm going to ride around it one day. Yeah, so like, that's like driving around fucking like four Collins Loveland. Yeah. It's not that far. No. I mean, we can try. It depends on, like... Oh, man, you haven't seen a male strip, stripper then. But it's not true at all. Girls go ape shit. <laughs> I mean, have you seen videos of uh, bridesmaid or bridal parties? Anything could be an object if what's you the objectify like, What's, like, the traveling stripper thing that's, like... It's Matt. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, down Under? Thunder Down Under? No, I don't know that one. <laughs> that, that, one's, that one's a show in Vegas that's consistent. That, yeah. Yeah. But, like, there's definitely, like, it's it's definitely, like, a thing. Ooh. Uh, Are you talking about Dancing Bear? Yeah. That's a porn series. That's yeah. not real. That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm wrong. That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, like, real, like, like, like Chip and Dale's is kind of the same scenario. I just read Hunters and Gatherers. Have you guys seen Year One? Yes. <laughs> that That's just reminded me of. Still when I was watching movies. Huh? That's still when I was watching movies. <laughs> that that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> literally, yeah, literally, anybody, any, any People body ask- could be a, an object. I mean. When you really think about it, but I mean, I mean under, under human, like how many people? Oh God! Yeah, it happens all the time. Yeah, <sighs> he settled down though. He's not an object anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for a while there, it was yeah, it was disgusting. It was questionable. We'll have to ask about his like the two friends blowjob scenario because that one was. The what? Yeah, this is a, this is a pretty funny. We don't have to talk about it. It was pretty funny. I'm curious now. Two friends blowjob? Is it like two friends getting a blowjob at the same time? No, like to like him. that awkward. To him. To him. Yeah. Two women giving you a blowjob at the same time. Yeah. Do you know the story? 
What are thinking of? Which, which we story? We don't put names to it. <laughs> which one? Which time? <laughs> the ones that... <laughs> good night, man. <laughs> good night. You have a good night. Tell the wife to have a good night as well. <laughs> All right, so which... The one where, like, I can do this better. One. Uh, with the girl that's married now? Wait, no, that's a couple. <laughs> that's a couple of oh, them married now. He's bringing it, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I do remember that. You know which one I'm talking about now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it was awkward. <laughs> tell the story. Well, like, they definitely, like, if you want to tell the story, I'm curious. Scenario, in my opinion, if we're talking about that. Yeah, I was just like a licking post. A licking post? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like licking a lollipop? I was, this, I was a salt lick. And one of them said the other one that she wasn't interested. So I was tagged out for the other girl. Oh, so it went from three Wait, to which two? which are you talking uh, about? I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you so I don't say fucking names. Uh, <laughs> why am I not remembering this? Uh, what was her fucking friend's name? If I put this name remember. on there, you might remember it. Did you take the surfing from that? No, I didn't even see surfing on there. Okay. They hadn't started. Uh, it was still doing skate tricks. I have awful service down here. Yeah, AT&T sucks down here. Yeah. That's, why, that's one of the reasons why I switched. Be Rizan. I don't remember that story. You don't remember that story? No. Did you get the name? Yeah. With her and her fucking... What was her fucking friend's name? I can't remember her. You don't remember that story? I don't even Tay. know that, who that person is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember that story. No? No. Weird, because they were totally like... This, I, re- I remember you telling me the story. Like, one girl looked at the other girl and said, No, like, they you were can like, do better? It was like, it was like together, and like, they were like, they were like, I can do this better than you, like, scenario. Oh, I remember that. Oh, and it was a, it was a competition yeah, then? Yeah, it was a competition. Oh, yeah, it was a competition. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Were you the judge or yes, you're like they were? Yes, I was the were... judge. <laughs> it was wonderful. Did it go in both favors then, or did you like upset one lady? I just said I don't know. <laughs> keep don't going, know. keep going. Then I can, <laughs> then, then I can get a <laughs> a proper analysis. I wish like the way you told it to me the first, like the first time, I was like, okay, that's an interesting way to put that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was an interesting one. That was on um, Valentine's Day. Their prom night. They were both. Oh, so this was a while ago. Yeah, this was a like, long time ago. It was like 2010. If that. It was like right when I started working in the NERC, so it was yeah. like almost exactly 10 years ago. Yeah. It was. It, it, it's been like a long time. Like, I'm yeah. not like. It's not even like a racing like, scenario. Uh, uh, I got nothing. It's not. I just. I was like. I was thinking about the other day was when you brought me and him were talking about this when you brought that fucking uh, that like nineteen or eighteen year old girl the fucking Caroline garage. Caroline not Caroline what you, you no it's not well, it's not her name Caroline was a different time that she came to pick Becca. Him up her name was Becca <coughs> her name was Becca and she looked like exactly like a girl that you were like not into at all didn't she look like Sarah Kay yeah yeah oh, yeah okay. yeah and like I yeah. pulled it together like immediately I was like dude I was like oh god. <laughs> and we didn't talk much after that. But it was really funny because like you like didn't know because you were like gonna take her to the bar and she's like I can't go to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> well, I kept, I kept going. We should go grab drinks somewhere. She's like, oh, how about this place? And I was like, oh, a restaurant. Sure, we can get food. And then eventually I was like, so, you, so you want to go to like a bar or something? She, oh no, I'm 19. I was like, oh, I'm 27. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that every time you came over. You either brought one over from the bar, and then... There was a few weeks there. Yeah, and yeah. you brought one from the bar, was... or you're like, you just hit up Tinder for a sober drive home. <laughs> <laughs> well, come pick me up, we'll hang out. Bring me to my house, and then I'll take a nap. <laughs> you're like, wasn't there a girl that, like... You took to your house and she like yelled at you because you were tired. You're like, I'm going to bed. And she, because that was the girl that you went to the football game with. Yeah, we went on a date. This is our second date, and 
we got back to my house after the whole night. Like that was the night I got the chicken leg tattoo. <laughs> yeah, it was. A, it was that night. Went to the football game. Got Music City. Went and got tattoos. Had a couple drinks and then went back to my house. And she's, I like went to the bathroom to brush my teeth. And we were going to bed. And I came back in my room and she was naked and spreading on my bed. I was like, no, I'm tired. <laughs> and she just got all fucking hissy and pissy and shit. And I was like... Didn't, didn't you see her, like, fucking, like... She still works at Max Line. Oh, she still does? Yeah. She, like... You were like... I remember, like, you were like... You remember that girl? I was like, no. She's like... She doesn't look the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we're talking, like, a solid 75 to 100 pounds. It's a lot. Yeah. Like, it was... And it wasn't, like, that much of a time frame difference, either. It wasn't, like, a couple years later. It was, like, six months? Yeah. It was, like... You, like, you like upset her so much with not sleeping with her that she was just like, like, did I do this? <laughs> <laughs> that she just like stress ate and ate and yeah. ate. And then I literally drove her to the car, her car the next day and we didn't say a single word the whole time. Dropped Damn. her up and never talked again. <laughs> and then, like, until she started bartending at Max and I was like, oh fuck, I like this brewery. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's fucked. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was pretty funny. He's like, like you like asked me, and I was like, I don't know this girl because I remember fucking like everybody. It's never a problem. Mm -hmm. I was like, and you're like, no, like she was at your house. I was like, what? Yeah. Are you are you fucking with me right now? Yeah, I don't. Was I that fucked up? I don't remember. But happening. you you were over before the football game, so like it was like afternoon when you guys were over at yeah. the house. So like I definitely was like not that drunk or anything like that when I, when I first met her. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, shit, I mean, shit happens, don't get me wrong. Maybe, but... much. Maybe, Maybe he was one of the only vendors with... That'd be a Kate. cool skill to have. Climbing Why? up a... Why? What the know. fuck purpose would that take? <laughs> to climb a fucking ladder for it without touching it? Like, what the fucking purpose? I, I don't know. Without it touching anything? Yeah, because you yeah. want to be top 10% ladder climber without it touching anything? <laughs> like, that sounds like a cool fucking skill. Dude, the Guinness World Records or something like that is like climbing the tallest ladder while balancing not touching anything and then you're in a book boom yeah i just saw a post on reddit today about fucking somebody that built the largest fucking petri dish to scale oh, yeah, yeah. the largest one so he's in the guest for that how dumb is the guinness world of world records i mean like, you could literally i mean you're like oh this isn't in it cool sounds good here's a record yeah for you. i mean honestly like for me, like, when I broke my legs, like, healing my shit, I could probably be in it if it was possible, like, put there to be 100% bone strength in fucking 12 weeks. You had metal in there. I, I could say, like, I mean, yeah. Or it's like, I could see it as, like, the it's like, fastest healing time with and without metal put in legs after broken legs. <laughs> so there you go, guys. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, if you, you, could heal be, quickly. you could be in that book for fucking damn near anything. Uh, oh, yeah. But, I mean, you're in a book. So, like, the ladder for a climb, year. I mean, I guess, like, I guess. I mean, it's, it, I mean, that just means you have really good balance. So you could do wheelies, manuals on a bicycle all day long because you have that good balance. You just, it's a good balance, so. Yeah. I'm just saying the ladder thing would be, was real stupid. Like, it was kind of cool to see it, like, don't get me wrong. But the end game is like, who gives a I like the ones that like go all the way up, go over the top, and then come back down the other side. Yeah. Those are cool. I, I just think that's like a waste of fucking talent. Or that, a slack line guy. Which would go on to balance. Yeah, I, I, I don't have it. I know, I know that I don't have that. But. I don't know, I think I'd, I'm, I might do the like really good at balance. <coughs> because then I could do the slack line, and I really like views anyways. I like to go and... I mean, I don't really go to nature very often, but I was like, to a lot it, of things. yeah, exactly. It and then it's like, I, li I like to see views and shit like that. So imagine having like a really good sense of smell though, where you could like, that would be awful. That would be terrible. Yeah, that would be like, fucking awful as shit. I mean, if you, good things, that would be amazing. You're like, I mean, oh. I have a pretty decent one as it is. Like, cause like, you know, I used to like antifreeze and that was like on a car and that kind of yeah. shit. So like, I already do. And like, that's just training yourself as well, though. Well, no, no, you're not wrong. I think that's a, that, I think smell is probably more trained than people think it actually is. Yeah. yeah. Is when you're looking for like a bad smell or a good smell or whatever it is, you're going to like train yourself to like get there more. Mm -hmm. Much like you know, like we, we train dogs to get to that point. 
like they have a better smell than we, like a better sense of smell than we do, but you are trained to. to yeah, they it. are trained yeah. for like drug sniffing dogs and all that kind of stuff. And don't get me wrong, some breeds are better than others, and like, uh, what is it, the Belgian Malinese or whatever they're using now for their drug dogs for cops. The Malinese. The Mal, yeah. Yeah. They're they're like a better, like a better breed of the German Shepherds. They're yeah. Like stronger and. Have uh, a better I sense mean, of they're, smell. They're, they're, they're less prone to damage. Just yeah. more things are not in, as inbred. Yeah, that's true. And that and that's the reason why they're using them more. Plus, they're a little bit taller. Mm-hmm. And they don't have the slouch back or like the back legs either, too. Yeah. So which they, which they, they, they last yeah longer. which uh, they've actually, I mean the inbreeding they bred out the um, they bred out most of the hip dysplasia in German Shepherd breed in the German Shepherd breed. Well. So they're starting to, but again, yeah. like there's like that. That would be badass. You could do that. Oh yeah. So like that's kind of thing. Like just gotta send it. We can like breed those kind of things out, but it still co- it, it will cause problems later in line. Yeah. Like that's that's just how inbreeding works. Like that's why like all the fucking like kings of England and shit like that start becoming like fucking like extra crazy and fucking garbage mm-hmm. because they just were inbreeding them all the way through. Because having a wider span of DNA is a better choice. Yeah. Does, uh, okay, completely changing the topic. Does, uh, cliff jumping into a lake and or body of water ever interest any of you? Of course it does. We could do that. I really want to do that. I want to go to Powell and, like, have a Sioux Party Cove and do it. I don't know if I swim on all for it, but. <coughs> Put a life jacket on? Yeah. It might hurt your toesy woesies, though. That's fine. fine. I'm like, I'm down to do all that shit. Yeah, I yeah, I want to do it. We've done it in horsey a few times, but they get really pissy up there. Yeah, and then it kind of gets sketchy if it's not like the right if they don't have enough water in there because you do it in the. Well, uh, right now it's fucking full full. Like when we did our plunge. No way is it full full. It's full. Is it? Yeah, it's insane. There's no fucking swim beach right now. Oh dang! Yeah, it's fully. That's here. not normal for this time not of year. Not for fucking January, it's not. No. Yeah. That's which it. might yeah, boy. Which m- might mean that we get screwed this next year or this year for, for our hot. summer. Like it's gonna be a freaking hot one, and Greeley's gonna use all of our water. I mean, the reality is there's plenty of snow back right now, uh, and if it continues the way that it has been, at two hundred plus percent. Every fucking snow basin. Mm-hmm. Like every snow basin is over 200%. So the reality is, it doesn't matter. We're going to have more snow, than we're going to have more water than we know what to do, fucking do with. Which is perfectly fine. When you get the fucking boats fucking rip in the summer. I mean, yeah, we do. Yeah. You get some more time for that. <laughs> That's definitely a you thing what? on that one. Me? Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not working in Estes, I think it'll be perfectly fine. And I'm t- I'm telling these guys that um. How much is a fucking buoy at fucking Boyd? Come on. I don't. I, mm, I can toss some money mm, in that shit too if I can fucking go sure. buy I'm sure mm. if we could split it between five or ten people, it'd be pretty fucking reasonable. I mean, yeah, it is. Re- yeah. That's I true. mean, it wasn't. It's not like not reasonable just for one person, but I mean, it's a little expensive. Fuck I mean, I'd bike down there after work even. Yeah, I mean, he was fucking right there. Yeah. But yeah, like. Let's see how much it is, and I'm down to put a hundred bucks a month on that shit just to fucking have it available. Okay, yeah, that was nice that one year. Yeah. And we just like, because I get off and the marina closes at like five, and then so you can just swim out to your your boat. We're gonna be doing that. Well, and the thing is, we can only do what we did the last time, which is swim out to it too. That's what he said. No, so you you're not allowed to swim in the marina. So that's when we did it. The marina was closed, so nobody was there. So you can't get in trouble. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but if they're not there, we just swim out to it. I mean, yeah. We just we need to do it more. We just go right after work when we don't have any, even if I was working. I was working months. late a lot this last year. Yeah, so. you, did, you did work a lot late. Later, you were getting home like eight. Yeah, no. I'm fucking working in essence. <laughs> But I'm gonna tell them that I can't I can't do the demo work this year because that bed's really thin. Yeah, 
wearing thin. What? What? I think so he's you going can't crazy. do the dental work because the bed's wearing thin, or the bed is thin. Ooh. Yeah. So I'll probably have to add metal this year sometime and then buy a truck at the end of the year. Yay, spending money. I'm still not That's even... That's kind of what it is when you own your own shit. Mm-hmm. Ice skating would be fun. It'd be cool at. I don't really like ice skating. I haven't done it in years. It's, it's very limited, too. Like, being good at mountain biking, you can go everywhere. But ice skating, you're, you're, on, a, you're on a piece of frozen ice, and it's usually... At the largest, like 100 yards by 100 yards, or 100 yards by 30 yards. Like, we go from Georgetown, bigger, to the ice racing. Ice racing? Oh, fun. yeah. I'm just talking about ice skating. I'm like, no. Nah. Oh, I know, but like, they also put a big skater on that one. I'm too. not really interested. Loses his novelty after about 20 minutes to me. Fair enough. Wait, oh. Can you oh, hand me oh. that Mad Dog bottle? This one? I was wondering why you guys kept it around. Boop. It's a good seed thing. Not a good seed thing. A Gatorade no, bottle is yeah, a good seed thing. The mouth's too small. Yeah. You're not wrong. Not wrong about that at all. But it was available when I was using it, so. Yeah. What? I slowed down a little bit. You slowed down? Yeah, mine slowed down too. I don't know. Third left. I've got like, uh, a couple of swigs. Cord, that, she was holding on by the mouth. Um, you go and play Would You Rather? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Or, what? No. Would, would you, you rather, rather is rather? the yeah, right, yeah, the yeah, right yeah. term. Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, no. <laughs> no, no, it's not right. Yeah, it's right. No, it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to play Would You Rather. Are we fucking 19? Like, yeah. Jesus. Well, I mean, I'm not that old yet, so. At some point, we should get fucking, like, everybody in here when we're doing a podcast and play fucking, like, King's Cup and shit. Ooh, I'm surprised we didn't build that bike today. That's not a podcast one, but. You don't think so? No, probably, probably, probably not. I mean, but we could technically. Um, we'll just live stream it when we're doing we're it. Talking and doing the whole thing anyways. Are we going to need a fucking pipe cutter for the fucking. The fork? No. No, it's right away. They're ready. <laughs> yeah, remember I told you I got Good a, one. I cut it with them at the bike shop. Oh, you did? Yeah, with okay. a, like, one of the their uh, carbon fiber blades. Their blades for carbon fiber. Yeah, if you do it slow, the regular pipe cover, you can do it too, but yeah. I'm just going to do it slow. Because car- th- th- that carbon's different. They than, like, shatter, don't carbon. they? Yeah, and you squeeze it too hard. Yeah. You just got what the fuck? Oh, that's the that's the flamingo juju. dude. That's yeah. Juju. Yeah. Flamingo. Oh. He is, <laughs> he is roided the fuck out. Yeah, oh yeah, he, he went public about that. Very roided the fuck out. Um, but why wouldn't you be if you're not competing? Who gives a shit? Well, I think they should have. Honestly, like we all should fucking be on that shit. No. I think they should have a, a roid league. I don't want to get that big. It, it shortens your lifespan dramatically. <laughs> Supposedly. Like, there's no like, there's no like real studies on that. I mean, okay. Because no. like, look at like Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. There's no way they're not they, they never did. And they're like, I Arnold, feel like he'd Arnold be said the person. Yeah. I feel what? like he Arnold would be the person. I f- fuck no. Yeah. Fuck no. He would have been a lot bigger if he was roided out. He was pretty fucking big. But like, I look mean, at him, like big. all the testosterone shit that they're doing currently. There's no way they look that way in their fucking seventies. No, I mean... But there's no way they did that their entire life. What, roids? I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't say, like, like heavy usage, like, to get, like, super big, but, like, to, like, use it as, like, a fucking supplement scenario. I mean, it comes to a point in any bodybuilder's life where they're like, I'm not bodybuilding anymore. And, yes, they're going to drop a shit ton, and they if they did take roids, they're not going to take roids anymore. They're going to lose a lot of it, of course. Yes. I don't know where I was going with this. Yeah, thing. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't think that with how big Arnold what it was. Well, bodybuilders back, back in the day, they also didn't have like 
the nutrition that they have. Yeah, they didn't have the nutrition and all that kind of stuff, which that sets what's the um, um, the mountain's name in real life. I can't remember. He's the German yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking yeah. huge. Like him, I don't. He no, he's clean, isn't he? I well, think so done. the thing is, like, with guys that compete, they have to be. Mm. Yeah, they're tested. Yeah, so okay. I'm, I'm saying if you're not competing, you're not doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, but they have they have competing and non-competing, or um, no, you can't testing compet- and you non competition. No, at all. you can't. Yeah. Oh, okay. But what I was gonna get to is, why not have a league where it's. I know, Exclusive, I agree. like people that can be on just steroids. Just let, let anything fucking go. Yeah, like you could do that for every sport. It'd be way more okay. entertaining. Be See the the can people who are or, yeah who are the, oh home run line yeah. like five hundred yeah. yards. Yeah, it just it'd be knockouts the whole time. Yeah, it'd be great. And the thing is, like, I think that it would still be a viable like sport to do because it's still not easy by any means. But it would be fun to like. See these fucking like it's that's what the XFL should fucking do. What? Yeah. The XFL? They're bringing that back for next year. Oh, Are they doing steroid this testing? Year? This year. I don't think. No, they they're not. They never but did steroid testing. I I don't know. The XFL lasted for like a season per year prior. What's the XFL? Pre-year. Pre-year. I think it was like a year and a half, two years. But they went from like having like twelve teams to like six. Yeah. Well, they're putting a lot more money into it this time. They're like there's like over. It was like, Who's Mr. McMahon was like said that he's going to put like 250 mil in this time, whereas last time he only put like 30 mil. Is he worth that much? Yeah. Who? The Mr. McMahon. pro wrestling guy? Yeah, he's the guy that was WWE. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, they've actually been like doing really well the last like few years because like with the success of like The Rock and John Cena and things like that, like mm. they've definitely like, pushed it way beyond what it used to be. As far as money making, when they decided they're going to like stop being. This is real, not scripted. Like those kind of things, that's when they that's when they started really doing like really well. Okay. And that was the beginning when they when they tried to do XFL it was the same thing. It was like right in the beginning when they were like, Yeah, this isn't real. No shit, you fucking idiots. Like <laughs> uh, <clears throat> But I love like, you know, the nineties, like that was there like, oh it's totally real. Don't get me wrong, it's still hard. Like yeah. Being smashed in the ground, all that kind of shit. It's not like an easy fucking scenario, but it definitely is scripted, and you know the outcomes are definitely already provided for them. Yeah, I want to find some good flow trails like that. <laughs> that was kind of, it was flow at first, and now it's. I think we got to be careful or comfortable with taking jumps first. Flow trails don't typically have jumps. Well, we were riding in Winter Park with flow trails. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm down. I'd want a downhill bike for that, though. But, you yes, really I agree. You need one. I mean, you don't need one, but, I mean, it'd be nice. You could, honestly, most benefit out of full suspension bikes on flow trails because you can use your suspension to push off the... Yeah, think about jump bikes. They're solid. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that, like, negates what you were, like, trying to go with. Fair enough. Flow trails are good because... For full suspension because you preload your suspension when you're going into a turn and then mm-hmm. you, it pushes you even faster out of the turn. Yeah. And then if you just have a hard tail, you just get beaten up the entire fucking time. Yeah, so... You're going to get beaten up regardless. I understand that. But just less. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reality is like, if you want a full suspension bike, get fucking one because you want one the entire time and now that we've got you like actually riding bikes... Yeah. I've been looking. Yeah. You need to make some money. Yeah. I gotta get a job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ride my bike for at least another year before I like even decide. Both of you. What the it? fuck is this what? fucking yacht? Both of you are the exact same thing. <laughs> so Pro- prove it. Different. Show it to me on video. <laughs> It'll be posted. I'll, I'll clip it. Clip it. <laughs> we totally were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to clip uh, from last week when you like when you were talking about that song that the dude posted, and you're like, 
Oh, it's this is trash. fucking trash. Oh, yeah. and I said the intro is trash. I was like, this is so fucking bad. You, you like, I actually watched the entire podcast. I don't know. I'm conceited. I just like listening to us talk because we're fucking interesting. But, like, when you were right here just talking, you sounded the most clear out of all of us that day. Like, speaking into the mic itself. Yeah, well, that's because he was speaking in the mic. Yeah. I also speak, speak at a consistent volume. You talk quiet until you're interested in something, and then you get loud. Ah, yeah, I agree. You're just always I'm loud. I'm just always loud. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of sucks. Like when I'm like irritated, because I'm just I'm just loud, so I'm like extra loud. I'm like stop yelling at me. I'm like, I'm not <laughs> yelling at you. I'm just loud. It also helps when you yeah you just have a consistent monotone voice. Agreed. <laughs> Thank uh, you. That's why Howard Stern has been a thing for so goddamn long. Yeah. Thank you, Avery. He never gets I will talk like this the rest huh. of the time. Huh. That's yeah. interesting. But yeah. But gotta... I don't think that's like really like. He's less. Also, the shock value of Power Stern. Yeah. He's been like a shocking person forever. But he's not the, the shock value behind it. He's the. <clears throat> he just. He, he uh, enables it. He's the enabling, and he has good commentary for it. Or he asks questions that he thinks. Yeah. We, like any regular person would ask. So, like, that, w- that would work out in that scenario, but I think the entertainment has moved a little bit from that. We could do that. It would, we couldn't do that? it as, as stylishly, but we could do that. Uh, question, when you do style. something like that, he's are you just brakes. holding oh, the brakes? He's dragging brakes. Yeah, that's all brakes. That you all, that's all you do? That's you... why you have big brakes on your bike, which is bigger than what I have, because it'll smoke them. How destroyed would your tire be after that? It still spins. It just spins slower. Yeah. You don't you don't full lock the rigs, you just hold it. Yeah, you don't want to be like fucking like skinning around. Isn't that the called like the Howard flop? The okay, so what I'm talking about is the um running up to the pole for the like uh track and field and like they jump but they turn backwards and they go backwards over the pole. Isn't that the Howard flop? Is that I what it's called? No fucking idea. I think it, I think that's what it's called. That is like not my wheelhouse at all. I that was a random like, like, yeah. that was a random fact that it like popped up one yeah, day. I was like, huh, I think that's what it's called. Or like I figured it was like yeah, I have literally no fucking Yeah, clue. because it's the high jump and they um whoever It's pole vaulting. Or are you talking about high jumping? High jump. It would be the high jump. Huh. It's not the pole vault, it's just the high jump. But like they were ju- they were like running up to the pole and then oh, just geez. trying to ju- like dive over it. And then this guy who created, I don't, don't say I'm right. I'm saying it's the Howard flop. So Howard came and he went over backwards and he destroyed everybody in the, I think it was the Olympics. Well, that's very possible. So he changed that event forever. Changed the game. Yes. Well, it basically puts your legs at, I had much more of an advantage to bend in the right way. Yeah, exactly, and come, come, come up and over. Well, yeah, instead so of going like this, you don't have to like curve over it. You just fucking bring your legs up and over. And yeah. anything track and field like um, long jump, like how they take those three steps, like how does that benefit you? That's but for some reason, it benefits you very well. Triple jump. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Triple, triple jump. jump is triple jump. Yeah. Well, isn't it because like it stabilizes like your jump scenarios? Instead of like just watching off a run. Yeah, it's supposed to, you're supposed to have a raw assessment of how well you can jump lengthwise versus how it fast you, how fast broken. you can propel yourself like at max acceleration. It, it levels up the playing field more. In, in oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh-huh. But it just looks broke when you're like watching it. You just like that person; those her, their knees have got to hurt, and it just looks broken. Every step of the way. I had to fill in for triple jump at a track meet once. No, thank you. And I did the second worst. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't the last. I, I literally never even tried it before. Well, then you did it better than someone that probably had tried it. Or someone who was just doing track and field to get a little exercise. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe we all should have done that a little bit more when we were younger. I was a very active child. And I feel, still feel like I'm kind of active. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I mean, these, I was always like an active person. These like, look super cool. Where it's the race through like the city. Oh the yeah, yeah, the fucking uh, the Red Bull downhills, yeah. urban downhills are great. It's fantastic. 
This, but see, this is something like, like when we talk about like top ten percent, we I could do this. I mean, that's fair. And it'd be fun. It would just be a fun scenario. You might be top ten percent to do that. Yeah. So you're doing it for money. <laughs> can't well, do it. Well, no. <laughs> uh, like, if you're talking about you're still racing. You're doing those things. You're just not. You can't make it a living. Um, yeah. You might have a sponsor here or there to cover some costs, but you can't make a living off of it. Isaac just picked up a new sponsorship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kids, that kid's good at writing. He's that very kid's... good at writing, and they, I've been more like the um, Marin guy. Yeah. Yeah. He, it's a bike company from France. Yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Free bikes for all of us. Yeah, right. Probably get us like a 20% discount. He's pretty cool too. He's yeah. I've never met him. Outside, That's the cool. bike that I keep trying to get you to buy. What? Oh, his bike? Yeah. Oh, the extra large bike? Yeah. Told you I don't want an extra large bike. I'm going to get you a freaking, I'm going to buy you a large bike and then you're going to like enjoy that so much more than your yeah, extra large. Yeah, because you can't have a dropper post. Okay. Do you guys don't have dropper posts? Yeah. But, but we can. We want dropper posts. Okay, but we're not writing downhill enough to, for me to justify it. So I we... disagree. It'd be more fun to ride downhill, and you'd have a lot more fun with the scenario. We we'll go to the bike park multiple times this year. Yeah, bike park makes sense. But we ride around here doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. There's, there's plenty of points because I the, can it's, tell it's that instant change. I can tell that you're slightly in agreement with me because your voice got a little less. No, it's loud. it's just, it's instant <laughs> change is a thing. It's not like it's, you can like yeah. go there and adjust it every fucking time. I don't really sit when I downhill. Yeah, but when you have your seats farther down. So it's when you're easier. downhill, yeah. so you want you want to be back. I get it. You want to be back down. You basically want your ass over the rear tire. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier, much look easier. Look at that tall bike. I um, wanted a tall bike for so long. But so, your your seat is basically all the way down. I'm aware now. of the mechanics. I'm not arguing yeah. with you. I'm just saying I haven't needed to justify it. And there's it's like a handling yeah, but thing too. You can't even do it. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's what we're going and with. So, there, you're like it's the a same handling height thing too, it's, isn't it's, it? The three of us are like roughly the same height. Mm-hmm. So like, and I, I get you have longer perfect legs. Perfect on a fucking large. The, the stretch and everything's fine. But, like, if I want a dropper post, I can drop it 100 millimeters, no problem. Mm-hmm. So you go from the cross country, so you're going uphill and downhill. You're arguing with me, and I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just I saying know. I do just fine on No, my now we're just telling you facts. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't so disagreed with any of them. Get it, lady! My bike, so his bike has the fucking, uh, has a 32 millimeter stem on a C post. Problem with mine's a 27, and there's not that many dropper posts for it. Yeah. You it's that. also not being able to be plumbed internally. Otherwise, it'd be drilling a hole in a carbon. Well, we can not, do that. Not, no. <laughs> not doing that. Your, yours already has the hole for the internal. Yeah. It just needs to be put in there. You know what else we need to do with bikes? Put the carbon bike together. Yeah, we talked about that. Like, we probably should have done it fucking last week. Yep. We should have done it after the, the run. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough time for that after the run. Maybe we could have started it. We could have got most of it together. I mean, you, I have no fucking idea how to put the derailleur together. No? No. That's my main thing. I don't... Okay. Drive train for me. Um, yeah, I think we could have gotten the whole... Basically, the whole bike built very quickly. And then... Just get, like, say, the derailleur and all that stuff on it. And then you could just go to, like, a bike shop and be like, Yo, I want this, like, Well, perfect. we could adjust it. Basics, no problem. The only yeah. reason why I brought mine there is I thought I was doing it wrong, but they didn't do it any better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, I need mine to be gone through because that shifting problem is still a shifting problem. Well, we probably need to fucking clean it too, and that shit. Because we did, we did yeah. actually ride quite a bit this summer. Yeah. And we're going to ride a lot more this summer. Okay with that. Like, you got a truck now, we got the shit, so like, it's going to be all the time. You I, I still want to do blue sky all the way down. I, I, I've always wanted to do that. I still want to do it. Yeah. Can we not? What are you talking about? Oh, no, you mean down all the way down, down to down down backbone. backbone? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's going to happen. It's not bad. It's just that we didn't have a means to do it. So now we do, where we could drop off one of my our trucks mm-hmm. at each location. We're good to go. We're so what we're going to do is we're going to take my truck down to Devil's Backbone, and, you and then... We'll take your truck up to the head of Blue Sky because then we can have AC and everything 
in my truck on the way back when we're all sweaty and like dying. And there's room. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna sit in the back that way. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. But now that we all have bikes. We all have our shit. We got everything fucking going. Like. Yeah. We can start doing it. Are we prioritizing boating or are we prioritizing biking? We can both. Do both. Why can't, why can't I, I refuse to go boating on the weekends anyways. Yeah. So we bike on weekends, boat weekdays. Deal. Okay. Yeah. And then Great White <coughs> Buffalo will be back too. Do what? The Great White Buffalo will be back too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because that sounds like a good scenario for me. Not at all. No, no. not good. Look at the rhythm. I know, like those, those fucking cyclocross guys, like every dog's is it's just crazy. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I go a bowling alley is that? Uh, an old one? Country. No, I've been to a bowling alley like that up in uh, Grand Lake. It was literally like five lanes, and they like you walk in and it's like, hey, I want this for an hour. They hand you a card to keep score. It was mm. like. <laughs> I can't tell if it's one pin or two pins left. Um, have you seen like the skinny pin bowling? I yes. I did that when I was in Maine a few years back. Skinny pin or yeah, just it's a like, tiny it's like, one? It's like the ball. pins are like fucking like like a regular like beer bottle like like thickness like all the way up. And there's thirty pins. No. No, that's what was the standard. I know, I know. Well, that was like the bowling, like the, the arcade bowling where they have like, they're on like ropes. Yeah. They're like, burr, burr, burr. very weird. Yeah. Someone had too much time on their hands golfing into a red fucking cup. Eh, you're bored. You gotta find a way to entertain yourself. Can't just be bored all the time. I'm bored all the time, even though I'm doing all the shit. Eh. Sick manual, bro. It's a long fucking wheelie, right? dude. That's a fucking long fucking reel. But yeah, I want to get, I want to get good, and I, I want to get, I want to get much better mountain biking this year for we sure. Need to build a manual like. Yeah, I think um, here in a few weeks we should build one. Build a what? Uh, a manual trainer. Yeah. So you build like two by fours or whatever, and like it's, it's like your your bike is like roped to it, so you can't go too far back. Yeah. But like you get to the point where like you can like. Man. Find the balance point. Yeah. You just go do it in a field for like two hours. Well, it's just, you, we can do it anywhere with that. It's just like you get better at it that way because you find you find the balance points of your bike. Or you just go do it in a field for two hours. Take less time. It'll, for, it'll, 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 it'll take, take less time for us to build it. To we do can do it. it, but then we can do it here while we're fucking fucking around. Yeah. The problem is we have to build a couple of them though. So? What? We have a full garage. Why do you need a couple of them? Because they're, they're sized to, uh, to your wheel size. No. Yes. No. Yes. You have an adjustable length rope, you idiot. Huh? You have an adjustable length rope. No, but that, the holder. No. Well, you just make it so it fits. Our, all of ours are pretty similar. We're not like rolling like three inch tires in our shit. Mine's 2.4. Okay. Yeah, yours is 2.4, mine's 2.3, no, and, and yours and is 2.25. Two, no. Did you put two threes on it? Think, yeah, two threes. Okay, so there's less than a tenth of an no, inch. No, I'm talking about like your your back tire has to stay like put. put. No, it, it can move around a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, okay. Or... Because it also helps you if it does move around I'm a just bit, saying from like the front out. stay to the back stay. So no, it's so like, you have an adjustable length. Or, hear me out. We go to the park that we always play with ball at. And we could go all learn in two hours. It's going to take longer than two hours. No. Yeah. The guy that I, so there's a YouTube series where the guy, a guy teaches himself like hard things to do. He did it in an hour. Yeah. So the idea is that we can still use it to get better. It's not that hard to build. It costs like 25 bucks. And the thing is like, if it moves around a little bit, that's okay. Cause you still get your balance in the center of your bike, all that kind of shit going on with that. Obviously we're not going to make it where we can put like three inch fucking tires in it. Yeah, no. I think Maybe we just need, yeah, you just need to find your bike and, like, learn the balance points yeah, on so it. We should compare. Actually, that'd be a really fun comparison. We can make a video about it. 
one person did the natural way learning in a field. Another person did the trainer, and then another person did something crazy like going down the bike park. Oh, I'm learning. <laughs> the problem with like, like, like mine and his bike, because your bike is like a trail bike, is that like we're pushed forward on our bike a lot more. So like the difference like on how we learn how to do it is different. Because I'm gonna go like since mine's a fucking like basically an XC bike, like. The positioning of it is, it's very, for, very forward. It's very hard to get that front fucking tire off the ground. So, like, I'm going to, like, get really close. See, the problem, what you're going to have to learn is you're going to be, like, putting your weight. So, you're going to be basically, like, compressing your, it's not like this. It, you're basically going to be compressing your, Fork. like, your, um, your shock yeah. in the back with a mix. Be, so, you'd be, like, pulling up. But compressing, so you just need to find that, like... I, the, the line. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I'm, I'm having to go much farther back. Whereas, like, yours is very more, like, in the middle, and his is, like, you're already s much more slack in oh, yeah. where, you, where your seating position is. I could... I have confidence that I could learn in two hours. A lot of I'm problems. not saying that we could do it in two hours. I'm just saying, like, it's... To, to master, it's going to take a... Like, not even, like, master, but, like, to be good at it, it's going to take a little more than that. Yeah, I get that. But once I'm like at the point where I'm at least comfortable riding for 20 yards or 30 yards at a time or 10 feet at a time, I'm not going to want to do it in the garage. Fair. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm going to want to do it. I think the, the whole training part and making a fucking bike stand instead. I think the whole training part is to like get a, a rough estimate of the balance point of it. Yeah. And then you have you to can, figure, you, you feel it. Then you know you you have a better feeling of well, like. Well, and there's also this thing too is like even like the like guys that, that can manual use it to like see how far they can go and, and to just get better without having to go anywhere to do it. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of like the idea is like I'll make a bike stand that's like you know like four bikes wide and then we just split it out where they have the end two have the fucking the attachments on it and mm -hmm. hold it down. Yeah. So like it'll just be in the garage it'll be like bike parking. So it won't be like useless anyway. It'll be bike parking, and then when we go to do it for the trainers, we'll have fucking two side by side. Mm -hmm. You know, he got to do first, right? Fix the envoy. Agreed. Uh, you have the tranny. You might as well yeah, do it. And you sold. I sold the cooter. Yeah. Did you? How much? Eleven hundred. What'd you pay? Uh, I I had like three hundred in my debt. I had like six hundred bucks. All that money's going to my sled because I blew it up last Monday. So. Solid. I didn't realize that's this that it is it, it's it's weird how that works because like think think of it this way because so my my dad worked for a week mm -hmm. um running the um a tow truck and he got a grand out of it but he also took his truck in to, to the shop it, well, and he's going to be paying true. about a grand yeah so I'm not You're not anything. like negative no. by any means. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. It just sucks that it was like I just like got rid of it, but it needed to happen. Like, just think if you didn't sell it and you're like, I still have to fix it. Then yeah. you're out twelve grand. Twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. Or twelve grand. No, or twelve hundred. Yeah, sorry, twelve hundred. Yeah. I buy a, a new one at that point. A tasty one at that point. Enough. Yeah, I'm about to open this Arnold Palmer thingy. I'm like curious. Did you guys both get one? Um, I, I got, got an it. Arnold Palmer. He got a hard... Hard mango. Those are actually really good. A mango. I think I was told these what are else? actually did really nasty. Did you bring nasty. some fucking seltzer water? That's what I was drinking on the way over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Seltzer. Seltzer. What was your other fucking... Did you get The Mississippi thing? Mud. Yeah, but, Mississippi uh, Mud. I think that sounds heavy as fuck right now. <laughs> yeah. What? I what were, what was your if mindset you behind that? If you, if you want to hang around, you don't have to, obviously. But, yeah. uh, we have Bud, Budweiser and... Budweiser. PBR. PBR. And PBR. Well, what was your thought process of behind the Mississippi mud? It was the other interesting one. The only interesting one that wasn't 14% alcohol. <laughs> Is this 14%? No. I'm sure it's like probably like 8 But I found some... What were they? Voodoo or something, and the, it was fourteen percent alcohol. And I was like, "No, I gotta work tomorrow." Okay. Are you gonna get off work tomorrow early? No, why? I'm just asking. 
I mean, I'm not going to be back up here. I, I'm packing tonight. Hopefully, I have everything, and I'm just staying down there. Yeah. Completely. I have no point, no real point to get off early tomorrow because all I have left to do is get cash. It's interesting. It's more second. tea than lemonade. Would you like to try? Yeah, give me a second. Okay. Um, I have to get cash, and I texted the other two things to myself. Simple things. And I need to make a passport copy and grab my flip flops from my gym locker. So that'll be all of ten minutes that I have to do stuff tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Do stuff tomorrow. I like. I kind of just want to bring my passport ID card. My ID card. Like, you can get a passport card. That's what I was using instead of my ID today. And uh, I was gonna just bring that, but I kind of want the stamp of my passport. Bring no, bring your passport. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, I would. Bring your passport, but I mean... 100%. It literally says, Valid for domestic air travel, international land, and sea travel between U.S., Canada, Mexico, Caribbean, and Bermuda. I mean, show it off. I mean, I've... Well, you know wait, how wait, interesting wait, wait. It, it... It says not valid for international air travel? Does that mean anywhere else in the world? International? Yeah, probably, so that means... Probably, well, like, it's like an agreement they have with like, Canada and Mexico that you can bring that. Well, I was going to bring it regardless, obviously. I was well, bring it. I mean, it's another form of ID. But I was just like, so, this is so much better if I lose this in Mexico and I can come back home and have my actual like, ID. Yeah. ID. yeah. So I, I'd, I'd almost bring that. and um, So bring your passport, get the stamp in your passport, and then we'll set up the lock combination yeah. on the safe. And you can just put, we can just put our passports in there. And gonna, then you can carry that around to give – if. If they ID us. I was going to take my passport to a poker game and maybe wager it if I ran out of money. Let's do it. Yeah. Because then, at the worst, I'd lose my passport and someone else would come to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I guess all the Mexican kids look just like you. You never know. Yeah, I'd probably find somebody really close. That's not that hard to do. Dude, that's like... The ultimate Vato. Oh, got it. That's because I get the mustache going, I guess. That's true. That's true. Nice. I, I, think, I think I'm going to shave off my, my uh, goatee. Go. Please yeah. don't rock a pedo stash. Yeah, do it. Do it. Abraham doesn't look that bad with the pedo stash. I actually look pretty good with pedo stash. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the dimples, so it's not really pedo. I'm the so. bandit. We're just gonna find Smokey. <laughs> yeah, Burt Reynolds. What up? So, uh, so he's Forrest there. is your son. Forrest, your son. I don't know. You've never seen that. Have you ever seen Smoke the Bandit Three? Um, it's so fucking bad. I mean, it's, I any, any dude, sequel fucking, to anything is bad. Nah, that's not true. Okay, tell me a good sequel. Iron Man Two. Okay. Not in the, <laughs> the comic book realm. Uh, Toy Story 2. Yeah. John Wick 2. <laughs> too Fast. Those are hard. Too Fast. The, too the furious. Fast and furious. yeah. Oh, no. The second one was so bad. Are you shitting me? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know what the best Fast and Furious is? Totally. I can't say Tokyo own. Drift. Oh, I'm yeah. To Tokyo Drift is the best Fast and Furious. No. Is the best fucking one way. Without question. No. That, without question. That actor was so fucking no, bad. No, no, yes, no, no, he no. was. That he was, was so terrible. The best fucking No, movie. it was okay. not. If you're watching Fast and Furious for the acting, you're, you're watching porn for the acting as well. So I mean, you're lying. Yeah. You're all lying the acting yourself. in the Fast and Furious is bad. No, but Tokyo the, Drift was terrible. It has the best storyline. The whole thing. All of it. No. Now, don't about the Jensen that fucking Michelle Rodriguez is driving in like six, I think? Five or six? I don't know if that's the one. That's the one where she's like, she's like amnesia. Oh, yeah, that no. Jensen is yeah. dope. When I they got all of those classic cars, that Superbird that they had. Oh, fuck yeah. No, me. I'm sorry. The best one is three, without question. No, you Tokyo Drift is terrible. Ooh, Again, pretty. The cars are the best. It's such a fucking good movie compared to the rest of them. You can't say number two was good at all. Do give me that shit. I'm not saying number the two was good. The second one was the worst one. That's when Tyrese came in. They were fighting out front of the fucking circle track. Like, demolition derby yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Garbage. Yeah. Fucking garbage. I think the newer ones are good. I think the newer ones are good. 
I hated Tokyo Drift. You're hated wrong. It. <laughs> it's an opinion, Nick. It's an opinion. No, it's not. Yes, You're it is. Wrong. No, I'm yeah, not wrong. Yeah, you know what? You started yelling. We got one less viewer on Twitch. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. The, the third one is the best one. No. Agreed. No. You're wrong. No. It's okay to be wrong. No. You're both wrong. <laughs> it's like skating on her fucking hands. Yeah, I saw that. Gymnasts are crazy. That's all fucking cheering. Pound for pound, strongest people in the world. I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, no, like... The Jensen was dope, and whatever, whichever one that one was. I don't know if I ever saw that one. Teddy just went for a run. At 8.30 at night? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Too bad. I mean, if I it's know. moonlit, I think it'd be perfectly fine. I run with my headlamp on, and it, it's okay. If it's moonlit, <laughs> what's the moon? Run. Yeah. Moon. Yeah, you didn't say moon. moon. You didn't say moon. Well, I can't breathe through my nose right now because I'm allergic <laughs> to alcohol. So, moon lit. <laughs> well, I'm getting kind of drunk, so. I'm a little tipsy right now, and I still have to pack. See if I can morning. find this video for you. Really because this in the was morning cool. anyways, probably smart. Do what? I said you should probably pack in the morning, it'd probably be smarter anyways. No, I gotta get down to Loveland really early in the freaking morning, to which do what? sucks. Huh? To do what? Finish as much work as we can on the tiny house. <laughs> the tiny house that he refused to come to because he didn't like the area. Who? Avery? Yeah. What's the area? Second. East 2nd Street. So it's second. downtown. Yeah. I mean, I put it equivalent to your Buckingham house. Old? Right. I get, I get yeah. that. Yeah. But, downtown level one is not like downtown Port Collins. No, agreed. <laughs> agreed. It's up and coming. It's up and coming. It's definitely growing. Like downtown Greeley. No. No way. Yeah. Downtown Greeley is more fun than downtown. Worse than Dead Hunt Lemon? I agree. It's way better. No, it's way better. Oh. Yeah. It's way better. It used to be pretty bad. No, it's never been that bad. Everyone says that Greeley's garbage or like is scary. That's scary. Oh, I don't go to Greeley. People die in Greeley. No, they don't. People die in Greeley. No, they don't. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I party. The best people to party with is all the Vatas that people are afraid of. They feed you. Oh, I agree. Yeah. They get you some fucking beers and they're like, you guys are cool because you're not scared of us. Like, <laughs> we had so much fun, like, with Nikki G and Possible and, and Greeley. Like, they lived on 17th and 8th or 9th. No. 17th Street. Who, Pons? Possible and Nikki G. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, back Street, in the day. Roughly 17th Street and 10th Avenue. So, like, right, right by campus, right downtown. And. The, the the guys next door were like that like what, be afraid of those guys they're fucking scary because they're all like and it's thirteen they're no no none of them fucking people like give a shit they're fucking cool as shit they don't give a fuck again they feed you they do all the things like I don't know why everyone's like so afraid of that shit it's like it's stereotypes it's stereotypes yeah, it's, it's terrible all stereotypes and are it, garbage and it was so fun like we would just we would just we go party we bring like we go to the liquor store I was the only one of age. Everyone else is about wait, right. wait, wait, can we just clarify? You bought someone alcohol when they're underage? Yeah, that, that's yeah. illegal. That's illegal. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. But By the like, way, so we should have we should have we should have done this before we all or while we started with, at the beginning. This is for entertainment purposes. Drink and drive. <laughs> no, don't drink and drive. <laughs> don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. What? When you're only 21, unless, unless you're delinquents like us. Yes. There you go. This is for inter entertainment purposes only. Entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Would you like, to, do you want to try this? I want to try that. I, I actually have a live one. Yeah, it's actually not so that bad. I, I do like me some Arnie, Arnie P's. So. It definitely on the tea side. I've never drank a drive before. 
So it's the only person with DUI in the building. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have a DUI. I would do the more of the lemonade. I have a, uh, I'd put a little bit more how, lemonade that's in how it. That's how should be. I have a DWI. Because yeah. yeah. I, 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 I don't like the citrus you know, of a lemonade. Well, I know. Like, I, I get what you're saying. Too sweet. Really? I taste sweeter than the Mad Dog, Mad Dog st- does to me. I agree. No. I, no, sweet. it's the tea and the lemonade. And I'm guessing they put sweetener in here. Well, of course they fucking do. Yeah, so, I mean, lemonade and then you get the Mad Dog. The most, like, sweet thing but, I mean, I guess, I guess it doesn't have, like, the punch in the face of horrible as Mad Dog. <laughs> it's just like, boom, you are drinking bad liquor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we threw this party. It was for, like, Nicky G's 20th birthday. And we go in the liquor store, and he's not even 21. It's his 20th birthday. We roll in there. And they don't card us at all. It was Greeley in 2009. Oh, that was back in the day then. So like... Oh, you look 21. Yeah, they, there you they go. Fly. Greeley doesn't give a shit anyways. So like, we go in there, we spend $400 God damn. on like booze. And again, this is 10 years ago, so like, it was much cheaper to drink then. And we bought all of the Mike's Hard. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. We bought all the PBR, we bought a bunch of bullshit, put them in a bunch of fucking like plastic containers, and we threw like a 35 person party at this fucking little tiny house. Jack is destroyed, fucking Ted. Paul's so shit based at one point that somebody else has to open his beer. He can't open his <laughs> He's own like, Yeah, it's PBR. fine. You should totally be drinking yeah. more. And, nice. Uh, I've had that moment. Where you couldn't open a beer? Oh, no. Poor shot. Oh. <laughs> but well, go ahead. So, <laughs> So, like, we get, like, real rowdy, and I'm out front, like, just getting some air or whatever, and the Mexicans are like, hey, we got some, like, fucking, like, some fucking chilies, like, stuff going on over here. And I was like... Chilies? Yeah, like, chili, like, fucking, like, some um, green chili, like, the, the whole thing. Ooh. And I was like, they're like, do you want some? I'm fucked up. It's like three in the fucking morning. And I'm like, yes, I do. Would you like some beers? And they're like, what do you got? I got PBRs left. We'll take those. <laughs> so we go over there, or I go over there, just by myself, get some fucking, like, just shovel some food down. And they were, like, super cool. So I give them some PBRs. And they're like, you know, like, we finished these PBRs. I'm like, what about some, some fucking Modellos? And I was like, I drink. I'm 20, I think I'm 22 at the time, maybe 23. Not yeah, it's 22. I was like, I will drink anything. Check this video out, by the way. I'm sorry. Yes, I agree. But check this video out. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, I, I know who that is. I think it might be the Pokemon Dog. Yeah, so, so, so speaking of gym. What I love about Debbie person. Bagby is she's like so like hype all the time. Oh, yeah, agreed. Yeah, you she's know she always, broke her back? No. Yeah. But like she's always like so happy and like so like up. Mm-hmm. And. I can't be that way. Not too full of herself? Yeah, no, she's definitely not. Uh, but she's always, like, happy and, like, doing the thing. Like, I wish I could be that way. Because, like, I'm not. I fucking hate the world. It's fucking garbage. Yeah, most of the time. You, you actually are. Yeah. yeah, like, you're doing you're doing good on that scenario. I hate everyone. <laughs> and every day. It's okay. It's just the level of hate is what yeah, separates everybody. <laughs> Do I, do I like you a little bit? I'm sure there's somebody at some point. But you guys. <laughs> I hate you less than others. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. You're okay-ish. Ish. I, you're okay-ish it, and I can a, spend some time with you. It's a problem that I have. Don't get me wrong. I, I just, it's not like, like you guys specifically, but like the world in general. Like, I want to... Ch- them to try a little bit harder at life, like to be better at it. Like nobody wants to be better at it. They're just like the quid po- like the, like where quid they are is cool. Like, yeah, where they are is fine. And I'm like not about that. Let me I want try your drink. What? Let me try your try drink. it. Uh, it's probably your. You're probably gonna say it's too sweet too. I mean, it's Mike's. How sweet can how non sweet can it not get? Yeah. Um, question differently. What do you guys think about the Typically. new... <laughs> I might be getting a little drunk. It's, it's differently in here now. Okay, a different, a different question on a different line. 
What do you guys think about the new Olympic sport with the um, it's the the hockey ice skating race? It's like oh, the, downhill. Is is that what they call Have them? Have you ever seen that? Downhill speed it's skating. It's so fucking rad. Yeah, it's wicked. It's so wicked. And they're putting it in the Olympics now? Yeah, so that's going to be an Olympic sport. That's dope because it's hard. Mm-hmm. It's way hard. It's wicked. And it's like, it, it. oh, people get hurt too. And it's like, ooh, that's well, a real like sport. 30, 40 miles an hour. Like, and Downhill and jumping. Yeah. And woo! Uh, that's two coolers on top of the fucking surfboard and a wake surf? I've always wanted to learn how to wake surf. Uh, I'll teach get, you when I'm a top 10% surfer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> if we get Scott's boat rolling, he's... It's, he's got a wake board or wake surfboard. Okay. Okay. It's fun. I've, I was, I was, random. I was like, I can't, I don't have the boat to wake surf, but I've always just wanted, it was like, they sell them at Shields. I was like, I'm just going to buy my own. For no goddamn reason. I'm just going to buy like, my own. So this spring. No, no, no. First thing, you need to buy yourself a full suspension mountain bike so you stop bitching. Faint. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. 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 And then we start writing that and realize that you don't have enough time to go wake surfing in addition to boating in addition to... I think we'll have time. Yeah. There's plenty of summer. There's plenty of time. When I'm at... I, if I get this job, I'm going to try and do four days a week. Yeah. Are I'm you actually going like, for that? I mean, if I like the working interview, I'm going to take it because it's going to... Oh, know, so this is a different place. Oh, they already did the working interview at yeah. fucking Watch Shop. No, no, no. He, we were supposed to do it on the 10th, but his mom, uh, mom was really sick and he had to go back to Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, so I, know, yeah, I think we have it right. scheduled for like the 3rd of March. Okay. Um, do four days a week because it's way better. Yeah, I know. I'm very excited. I, be I fun. definitely like thought about bringing that up because like I do my job pretty well. They're going to say, no, sorry. Yeah, I know. That's... Literally, that conversation right there, I would consider it, and I'd be like, you know, I could pretty much get the same amount of work done as everyone else, and you could still pay me the same, and I'd still probably be doing 10% more, rather than doing 70% more. I don't know, The um, Europe's really big on the four-day work week, and the productivity like level Stays of people is, goes up even. It's higher than the state's. Well, they're saying like the optimal, like optimal, like work week for like anything, like typically is right around the 30, 35 range for hours wise, actually. Anything more than that, like five hour, five hour Which is only in the United States, by the way. Yeah. Let's say that. We're the only like country that does that. Yes. We're also the only country in the world where you have to beg for more than 10 days off in a year, like paid time off. Yeah. That, and that's not wrong. The, the reason why I moved to the job that I have currently is because of the time off. Yeah. Because, like, I would have made... No, you were miserable. At JBS? Oh, okay, never mind. I, yeah, I was JBS. thinking... Okay, yes, yes, agreed. Sorry, so I forgot about I, JBS. I turned out a job where I make money now that took me two years to get that same money. No, I understand. I, 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 was, I was thinking from the shop. I forgot about JBS. No, the shop, I, forgot I was about definitely JBS. miserable yep. at that scenario. Like, there, I was not making any money. If my dad paid me what he pays me now... I would oh, yeah, still no. work at the shop, honestly. Like, forty, fifty dollars an hour, in all day. I mean, he's paying you by the book, which a mechanic should be paid. Yeah, I make my own. I, I tell him what I want. If I don't get it, I'll do it. Yeah, basically. So, and if, if I was making that kind of money then, I wouldn't have left. No yeah. way. No way. No how. Uh, I would have no problem doing that. Like, there wouldn't have been an issue. I want to skydive. We should plan that. I've been skydiving. Yeah? My brother paid for me for my graduation present from high school to go skydiving with him. I'd love to go skydiving. (laughs) He got sick like the day before or like had the flu and I just went skydiving by myself. You know fucking yeah. You know Jeff. Jazzy Jeff? No. You met met, met Jeff that one day we were like uh, uh, last year not last year the year before last when we were like uh, tricycle racing question yeah, yeah, yeah. was i yeah, drinking what me we were him track race. we were track race not this year but the year before i year wasn't before. there two years ago what's up ducky r11 jeff yeah my name is jeff J- 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 jeff like tons of skydiving and it was like he like invited me last year and i was like no. jeff indeed oh 
Yeah. Jeff. 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 And I, the, the one weekend I couldn't go, and then he's like, I'm like, invite me the next time you fucking go. I'm like, down to go. I have money. I'll do the thing. Yeah. And he never did again. I was like, you fuck. Like, I was super interested in that girl that we that was hanging out with Jeff and us. She was cool, actually. She yeah. was very cool. Yeah, she was super dope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Ducky, give us a topic to talk about. Yeah, we're just kind of rambling on now. We've been on legal prostitution. Yeah. Well, why are you drinking? We drink it because we like to drink. And uh, our va- mine and this other guy on the couch, uh, our vacation starts on Saturday, so... About tw- less than... A little, little more than 24 hours to go. Yeah, so we're just kind of getting in the mood now. I'm surprised I'm not wearing a swimsuit. Are and, we uh, drink at the airport? Yeah, uh, we'll probably drink at the airport. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This shit, even though it's not quite as crazy as last week, is still just as fun. Though. <laughs> I don't like it. So good. Mainly because I'm drinking now and yeah, we're having a good fucking time. I feel like I'm the least intoxicated one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not normal. <laughs> Come on, Ducky, give us a topic. Let's, yeah, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. We talked about legalized prostitution. Yes. We talked about itchy gooches. Been over uh, blowjob. So we, we never like determined this, this like wrong gooch scenario. Though. I still think it was an ingrown hair. But like, I you have that problem though. I get ingrown hairs a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it was only I only noticed it on a bicycle seat, dude. Why? Oh my God, you're bleeding like. A, why did you pick at it? You I don't know. I started and then it just didn't end. <laughs> about boobs we don't have 12 hours <laughs> what's your favorite you're shit? such a fucking clown dude like i'm gonna bleed all over the fucking place again did he tell you how what you did he did? say yeah he said boobs oh boobs oh well, boobs we what? give us like a real topic we like boobs we all like boobs who doesn't like boobs yeah. give I us mean, some like big, small... that we can debate about a little bit yeah like, if you should pick your scabs or not. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you like picking your scabs and it's kind of like, oh, you started, so you might as well finish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where I was at right now. I'm yeah. an outer ring scab picture. Yeah, you like, you're bleeding bad, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm bleeding really bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As he's about we, got, we got blood on the podcast two weeks in. As he's about to go to a foreign country and on an airplane. Trump or Hillary? Or here, here. Harry, 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 Cringing. Harry, um, let's not do that one because we all know how bad that is. Well, to be honest, neither of them are going to be the next president, so it doesn't matter. Well, why, why are you on the Trump train? Yeah, you might as well, I guess. I mean, who's on you the Trump train? Fucking Trump 2020. If you're going to bring, give me a reason why, a good reason. Now, now we're just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> it's a meme. And I'm bleeding, so... Meh. And you're about to go to go get on an airplane and go to a foreign country. Yeah. And dive while, with sharks. While you're bleeding. You don't know. You don't know? Why just don't you know? I love how like, the Texas... Stereotype? Is it's said, a stereotype. I don't know for IDK. Mm, that's oh. cool. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I dig. That was badass. Um, that was pretty dope. Yeah. Fucking rail grind in a trash can. I re- so I've always wanted know. a backhoe. Are you just doing it just for, for the memes? Yeah, the he, he's doing for the the lols. He's the doing lols. It, yeah. Holy shit. Okay, but like, who are you guys gonna vote for? We're, we're gonna see what happens in the Democratic primary. Like, who would you vote for in the Democratic primary? <sighs> I'm kind of Bernie Train. Honestly, I'm, I like Yang though. Capitalism doesn't work. I'm always feeling the burn. And you know, capitalism doesn't work. It depends work. on what it is. Are you talking about socialism or capitalism? Socialism, my bad. My socialism bad. does work. You ever been to Canada? <laughs> no. Or like most of Europe? No. Yeah. Well, they all work pretty well. Yeah. So the thing is, like, socialism, like, people like put it into the context that it's like communism. Which the ideal is, communism is the, I, like, the pinnacle of socialism. Like, that's like the maximum. But socialism can also be done. Our republic currently 
which we are a republic, not a democracy. Our republic currently is a socialistic republic. Okay. Where we live yeah. currently, yeah. right now. Yeah. So, communism, or... Will communism. you feed me some alcohol <laughs> while I hold my bandage on? <laughs> If I say no, you're gonna be mad at me. And do I'm not gonna be mad at you. Do something bad to me in Mexico. <laughs> I think you do bad things to him anyways in Mexico. Get dirty with it. <laughs> Good enough. Spilled a little bit. So like, we already are a socialistic republic as it is, and our highest grossing period per capita was in the '50s when we were taxed the highest. Okay. Um, so, like, these ideas of make America great again is bringing it back to socialist times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, isn't Bernie's big thing with, like, schools being paid for by government? Somebody's got to pay for it anyway. It's correct. Well, yeah. well okay, but, but imagine this. You start a society, and would you want more people that live in your, we'll say... 10 person society. Can you give us something else to talk about other than politics? Give me a two minute spiel. Yeah, okay, go ahead. go ahead. Okay, so you, you start a society with 10 people. That's not a fucking response. No, you, you start a society with 10 people. And you say, okay, well, two societies, we'll compare them. One society says, okay, one person gets most of the money, uh, four people get educated, and six people are uneducated. And the other society says, well, the wealth is mostly distributed. There's still one really rich person. But they're not... There's uh, always a rich person. Yeah. But the other nine people are pretty, well... Mediocre. Was no, no, no. Mediocre? They, they have everything they need. The, they're very average. Yeah. They're very average. But they're also educated. Which society does better? What do you mean? What, in, what, in that scenario, what, which society does better? Just the educated in general. Yeah. And so, wouldn't you rather have... I agree that education does a lot. I, I understand that, but somebody has to pay for education. I am not... I do not agree with how expensive our education is in the United States, because especially college level, college is basically money-making. It's like the medical field, they, it, they, they are putting it on there just to make money. That is our education, our higher education. I understand that. I don't agree with it, yes, but education has to be paid for by something. So, we are going to be paying for it, our education, our expensive education, no matter what, because that's going so to go into taxes way. and everything, so we're going to put money into I'm that, gonna, and the government is going to yeah, pay for I it, so you. we are still paying for so it. Here's the thing, is society pays for it, and I agree. I understand that, that, that take on that. As a whole, so some I... some people... Okay, so, go, yeah, yeah, no, 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 keep going, wrong. no, keep going. Wrong. So, look at it this way. For our health care right now, we pay the most per capita of any developed country. No, I understand that. No, well, let's, and education okay, yeah. is the same way. We can talk about this, too, because I have a, I have a big thing about yeah, this, Yeah, so education is the same way. We pay for higher education more than any other country does per capita. And it's because we've made it capitalistic. We've made it where it's a money-making venture, like you said. Yes. So, the idea is... Our education, our education system is not any better no, it's than like, other developed countries, but we pay more for it. It's worse. No, yeah. It's not, no. I wouldn't say worse. It's just different. I mean, okay, have you seen, have you, you remember that video that we were, it was, it was a big thing a couple years ago saying we're like 37th in reading and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Uh, yes, that was a TV show and all that, but it like brought some light to like, we aren't great anymore. It's like we are so mediocre in the yeah, world and, itself. And, and it's terrible. The reason was because we made it a money making venture versus like educating everybody. Agreed. And my yeah. my simple comparison of education being um, free is that number one, not, it's not free. You have to you 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 have to be able yeah. to you have to be at least somewhat smart enough and have a basic grasp or a basic ability to understand and or be able to qualify to for free education. I understand that. Yes, and you it, have to qualify for it. Yes. Yeah, you have to qualify it. That that that. So in theory, <laughs> that's saying maybe 
it doesn't really change our numbers of enrollments in schools. But we're saying, okay, great, but the government... It gives the opportunity to the people that want to learn more and to do more versus not having the opportunity to have that. It, it's and then, it, it's wait, making can I, can it I not finish my point real quick. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so following on that, okay, great. The government has to pay for it, right? But we are also raising our taxes. Taxes are more. So we're so, paying for it no matter what. In th- yeah, so in theory, you as a person who is now educated have the ability to work in a society where we have more developed jobs, where we can do higher process jobs. We can have more doctors who can potentially make more money, right? We can have truck drivers who make more money because they're more educated and they qualify for better benefits and better um, salaries. So in theory, because there's a higher tax rate on your higher salary, you might be making the same amount of money over the same amount of time and the government's getting the same amount of money. They're getting the same amount of money in theory for taxes. Like they're basically making the money back in your taxes because you're, you're, you're spending more money on your taxes because there's a higher tax rate. So you're making $75,000 and you have to give 10% or you're making $100,000 and you have to give 20%. They're getting their money back. The government is yeah. getting their money back for paying their educators. My big thing a- is. And, and so on that, you're basically developing a society that's more educated. I understand and, that. And so, so, it bas- so, so basically what you're saying. Can I finish? Can yeah. I finish? Yeah. So basically you're treating your student occupancy or you're your, your, your being a student as it is a lifetime investment to being a student, but you don't come out of school being so in debt that you can't afford a house. See, in I theory, agree with that. Yes. In theory, you could come out of school and afford a house in two or three years rather than having to worry about paying it off for 40 years because that is built into your paycheck for the rest of your life. Well, we were talking about this the other day because you were saying if you didn't play it at the – or you didn't pay your student loans back at like an accelerated rate, you would pay it off when you were like 55 years fucking old. And I'd be paying an extra – Ten to fifteen thousand dollars with interest and all that. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So what that goes to is people that don't do anything that have investments in banking and all that kind of shit. But the big thing for me is there's less stupid fucking people. <laughs> yes and no, because people are always stupid. No, I think I think I think what he's trying to say or what I'm getting out of it is so you're making the government fund the so, education yes that's a huge fucking job yes. the government is basically footing your no, educational yes, bill no they they are supporting the school districts because the school districts are on a public level we're because, talking about colleges well, yeah. no i i understand we're that to push it farther yes so so the i uh, i guess the way i see it the reason why schooling is so expensive is because it is a business because and the, government the has school some... has to pay their educators. Mm-hmm. So if the government were to step in and pay educators, like, say, the flat rate, which what they should be making because they make shit. Yeah. We'll put that out there. What they should be making, that does not lie on the school themselves. But schools are a private entity anyways. So colleges are private entities. So then yes they're no. still going to charge so much. So we have we have current we, our current schooling is there's state funded ones and there's non state funded ones. So they just you still have the choice. We're not saying you can't have the choice of doing both. I went to a private school for college. I spent sixty K in two years. Yeah, that's wicked. And that was in two thousand five, two thousand six. That was a lot of money back then. I'm st- I have it's a lot of money whenever. Yeah, I have I have a couple grand left. I'm trying to pay my shit off. But like the idea is like I don't care what it costs. I want less stupid fucking people. My thing is, okay, so That's what I want. Primarily basically we're just saying reinvest in, we're paying money to the government. You invest in your society basically. Yeah, no, no. It's, well, you're not wrong about that's exactly what it is. And on a more boiled down level, you were saying, okay, instead of paying some privatized company to run the education or paying a privatized company for the student loans, I am reinvesting in my government. And as long as the government says, I'm going to reinvest 100% of the money that I receive from a per- certain portion of taxes that I raise back into education, 
it all works in a cycle. But and that's it, also coming from a country who owns or owes trillions of dollars in debt. And well, you no, can't you're, come wait, wait, back stop going that. on top. Stop going off topic. Okay. We're talking about internal debt, not external debt. Again, the idea is the level becomes higher. The more the nation can have, have having smart people and those people that want to be smarter than that can be farther ahead. I understand that. The, it's like you be... You, innovation you're, gets higher. Yeah, I understand that. The farther we can push society. And having less stupid people to deal with on a daily basis, even, even like your industry of truck driving, these people aren't like necessarily the smartest people on the planet, right? Okay. But the idea is, is if we make them 10% smarter, right? You have 10% less of a chance of bullshit and garbage. Okay, no, I understand this. Okay, so also look at our society that um, is trying to tell our younger generation that... Um, um, You're going off topic right now. Uh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. I see what um, you're doing Fuck, what is the word that I'm thinking of? Like trade jobs. Tell people telling people trade like are telling our younger generation trade jobs are a bad thing. So you're telling, okay, make them smarter and then we can we can bring in but some more work to ourselves because we outsource a lot to Japan. Definitely. Not Japan. Or okay, China. China, Taiwan. China, China, Taiwan, and all that. We outsource, so we get smarter, and we bring some more industry back into the country, which we had what say in the sixties. So our machining jobs and all that, but that's a trade job. But we're telling our younger generation that trade jobs, which we're coming back from, I will tell everybody that we're coming back from like that deficit of trade jobs, because people can't afford schooling because it's too expensive right now. Agreed. But, okay, so we're telling our younger generation, oh, you have to go to college. You have to go to college. You have to get a degree. And look at the trades, too. They're, there's college. They're, they're private colleges and going into trades. That goes to a two-year college degree into a trade instead of a four-year and minimum there's degree. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, but there isn't, but, but we're telling what them. Is, what is the United States' greatest export? <laughs> and then... Exports? I don't know. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you when you come back. The, the best export we have, the greatest one, we make the most money with. When you come back, I'll, is it people? It's not people. It, it is people, but like not the same. Not the not the same realm of like people. Like skilled labor. No, skilled labor is not. Or skilled. Uh, what is it then? Our greatest export is entertainment. Yeah, it's bullshit. It, the United States is best. Largest export of any field of anything is entertainment. But how many people? Do and entertainment think? will never die. No, I agree with that. Because we have to have it. I guess so. Like we look at we look at this way. Like what we're doing right now, it's a podcasting scenario, right? This is an entertainment scenario. We're having a good time. We're doing our thing, right? Hmm? But like we have other people like listening in, doing the thing. Watch your elbow. He's fine. Oh no! Yeah, I'm good. So our greatest export is entertainment. So we make the most money. We make our uh, out of external sources outside of the United States is our entertainment industry. Uh, music, new movies, YouTube, all of it. Is, yeah, and, and, I mean, yeah, is, people people come around the world to be in our industry yeah. of entertainment. I so understand that. Yeah, that's our greatest thing. Did now, this duck? Did this skill train? Okay. Did this ducky? R11 leave. He already dipped. Oh, he dipped. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, but that's that's our that's that's our greatest export, and the reason for that is, is everybody needs to be entertained, because otherwise we're not happy. If we're only working, if we're only doing like, family shit or whatever, it's not. Most of the family stuff in the United States comes around the entertainment industry, video games, uh, movies, music, those kind of things. That's our greatest export. No, as so of right is, now, yes. What? As of right now, yes. That's what's been for 60 years, 70 years, if not more. Okay, think about this now. Okay, so they are saying under the state of Montana is a bigger deposit of oil than the Middle East has. It, 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 
but, that's but not, yet we are still buying oil from the Middle East. We don't need to dip into our shit, especially as no, we is. we are out. We're waiting. We are currently freaking waiting until they run out of oil, and then we can be if, the highest power of if oil it won't in, the, in the world. Even matter in fucking thirty years. Yeah, because we're all gonna die. No, hopefully. I mean, maybe. But okay, so what? Like global warming now, they're saying, what, four years until the caps are completely melted? No. Four? It's yeah. about, it's, it's, they're looking at 10, like 10 to 12. I know it lowered. So, but the idea is like... The doomsday clock, which is like the, the predictor yeah, of... Yeah, like what, 30 seconds from it or whatever? Yeah, it's 30 seconds from midnight, which is basically implying that we are at the highest we've ever been to a ending... Event in terms yeah, of yeah, a live ending event in in terms of the human species, uh, but which is scary. It, it is scary. But and uh, by the, the way, you guys want to bring children into this world, so no, I don't. I thought you were he considering. I'm the only one that wants children, oh, yeah. but yet I'm also very scared to bring somebody into this world I because you were open to it. Do you like how like it's baby? Take the right person. And I, again, I'm not like a hundred percent against like you are, but you're like. Fully against it, which is totally okay. There's too many people in the world. I don't want kids because I already raised me and my siblings. Yeah, I fair. love children. I so, love the scenario. Like, I also... Bitch, I can't fucking get like a fucking person that continues to talk to me for some goddamn reason. I don't fucking know what it is. Yeah, It happens. Um, can I... Can I end our... Our uh, politics talk? Yeah. Yes. Moral of the story is... You educate your people, and they will be a better, happier society than if they had not been educated. I hold the agree. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now that we ended serious talk. <laughs> but, like, that's, like, I don't know, like, I, when we come to, like, the kids scenario, like, I love kids, and, like, I, I don't think I'd have a problem like having a kid, like that scenario. Like I, I, I know that I'd be a good dad. I know that. Like there's no question about that. We'd all be great dads, but I don't. Want, too many people in the world. I don't fucking want it. And I don't want to spend the money that I've worked hard to pay off from my student loans <laughs> and everything else in life to be like, all right, well, I want to put another human being into the world. And no, rule number one: there's already enough people in the world that need to be taken care of. Just because you want children doesn't imply that that you need to introduce another one to the world that needs to be your special, like, self narcissistic envisionment of yourself. No, All right, and I think agree think with that. think of it this way as well, and and you might not be that kind of person. It's like okay, think of it as a, like a family name scenario too. You're the last C. Nobody correct? cares about correct. fucking the name. I'm the last one. You're the last C. So if you actually care about your name, which some people do and all that kind of stuff, your name ends with you if you don't have a boy. But that's looking at it as a very that's like, like that's, old, that's, that's like an that 18th century. They don't have to take their like fucking that. like married fucking name. They don't. That's a, yeah, they yeah. don't. And I mean, look. Okay, look at um, Tom, why did, my why brother. Did, to, look at Tom, my brother-in-law. So his mom, her last name was Armstrong. Her dad didn't have any boys. Armstrong died with that generation. So they made it a tradition in their family, the first boy that was born or the first child that is born has four names. So his name is, well, no, actually it's just three names. So his middle name is Armstrong. Liam, my nephew, his middle name is Armstrong. So but it's, it's, choice it's, it's, yeah, it's their that. choice and they're keeping a name alive. That's like saying, I really like this watch. I'm going to pass it down for my family for the next hundred years. Congratulations. Exactly. I, yeah. See, I'm not sentimental in that kind of scenario. Like, I kind of am. I, I need why? a boy. I don't you, know. You romanticize it because it's been brought into your brain that it's important to you. But is it actually important? I think it is. Think about all the names that people call me. Just my first name. No, I understand so, like, that. My thing is like... It, it, it shouldn't be about what your name means. It should be about how your people are. It should be about how they have done something for anything. It should be about 
your comp your I company that. like like you it's more than a name is like saying like a dollar is worth a dollar because someone tells me it is. It's only worth a dollar because ever because I you that. you decide it creates value. Yeah, I understand that. It, it, it's the your 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 self opinionated of like what your name means to you. I understand that. So what does your name mean to you before th- two or three generations from now? What do you mean? So, like, my future generations? No, your past probably, generations. Your past yeah. generations? Either way. E- either way you look at it. What, what does it mean? Okay, well, so, what, my grandfather that I never met, very hard worker, he, like... How do you know he wasn't a huge fucking asshole? He, Are you sure he, you want to... an care? alcoholic. Yeah. Of course he was an asshole. Are you sure no, you want to... Okay, him. so, alcoholism runs in my family, too. Do I want to continue the lineage of alcoholism and hope that my child is smarter than I am? Or do I want an adopted child and bring them into a life where they might not have had any love, and instead of raising a child that's going to deal with internal conflict for okay, the rest even, of their even, life? Even, no, even bring, like adopting a child and bringing it into your life, if it's young enough, if... I even if it's not young enough. You could put whatever the name on that child you want to. Okay, if the child is young enough and or still quite a bit older... And you are the father figure in their life, and they are learning from you and what you drink and all that. The alcoholism is gonna continue no matter what because they think that's correct. It's genetics as well as upbringing. Yeah. Both yeah. agree. What yes. you're saying is you're you're, but, you're putting your child at that much more of a disadvantage rather than adopting a child that doesn't have a chronic history of alcoholism by okay, bringing see, in. Now the, you're getting into like the details, but yes, agreed. Details matter. Okay, agreed. <laughs> alcoholism. <laughs> alcohol, alcohol, alcoholism runs in my family. Yes, I agree. I don't need it. I don't need all any of that. I'm still an alcoholic. I, there you go. But you know what? Even if I was. By the way. We're not alcoholics. Yes, we are. We're drunks. There's a difference. Mm. Including We're in the middle. Avery. Mm. We're in the middle. Mm. But We're pretty close. But okay. But if you, so what I was raised with is like okay. Guy well, it's pretty much didn't drink for all of January, so he's not an alcoholic. He's a drunk. I need. Yeah, like I, need I need a. <laughs> I need a so, I kind of needed a kind of sober month. <laughs> but okay. So even if you adopt somebody, it doesn't matter if it's genetics. Even if it is, blah, 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 and yes, it is kind of genetics and like that, but it's also how they are raised and what they see when they're growing up. What is correct? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, a cheers. Cheers when we're talking about alcoholism. (laughs) (laughs) So, like, I I, I get what you're saying with this scenario. Like, I, I, I understand, like, your name thing with all that kind of stuff, but my point with that one is... There's a, I'm lucky enough that I don't have the only last Ennis name or whatever it is. So if I don't have kids or Eric doesn't have kids, we're okay. The yeah. reality is, I don't think that I would care. Again, for me, a name means almost nothing except for who it comes from. It's just a basic identification. This shit is like fucking epilepsy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I understand well, that. So my point yeah. is, when, when people call me, whatever they call me, you call me Dickless, he calls me Dickster, I'm Dick, Dickalish, whatever the fuck it is, I have one that a name doesn't fucking matter. And the reason why it doesn't matter is because the, the connotation behind all of it is if it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, it's good. I don't care what people call me at all. And the reason for that is like I've learned that like if they like me, they're going to continue calling me whatever they're going to call me. And they don't like me. They're still going to call you that. Yeah, they're going to call me whatever. I don't care. It does. The name does not matter to me. We can still put our legacy up, down without having the name. Why even need to have a legacy? You can just live well, life no, and not I, be an I, asshole. I, I you, okay, I, do you want to go through life not like with nobody ever knowing you? There's your legacy. You made an impact on this so world think, where people I, I remember. I Avery's saying with legacy is he's not looking to like put like a... Like the world fucking knows me? Exactly. You okay. could just say, well, I didn't die immensely in debt. I didn't die unhappy. I had friends. Yeah. That's all you need. And that's kind of the idea. It's like, the thing is like, I also look at like legacy is like this. Like, especially like me and Avery, 
Seth, you're not quite included in this, on this level. Like, the amount of people that know me and Avery is, like, stupid. It's a stupid amount of, of, of people. This is like Edwards, Can you right? please? Like, no, I know. Can you change it? Because I don't. I'm, I'm tired of watching this Van Gogh like cappuccino going on right this, now. This is like not even on the same level. Yeah, no. Um, but like the idea is like. I'm I'm a different level of you guys. I'm known in the older generation compared to you guys, as in like my parents' generation. I know every but like it, it's weird. It, it's like my dad's friends are my friends. I'm like spread yeah, out in that older generation. Asshole, yeah, but, exactly. So it's like, well, like all you guys spread to area. like our generation, and like for some stupid reason, I spread to Ouch. the old generation. Uh, so, but I also do that same thing. Like, there's still plenty of people like that, but like, know me, they're way older than I was. But like, the idea is like, our legacy does not matter about the name. When I say legacy, I'm not saying like, I'm not, I'm not trying to put something there for people or whatever. The name doesn't matter. You're remembering <coughs> the actions. And the actions matter way more than the name does. The name will follow, regardless of who it is, all this shit. If in our information age right now, if your son or daughter has a different name than you like your last name than you do, it's I not mean, gonna fucking matter. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. No, I well, understand and that. They're gonna have the same name as you because they're going to be your it's child. A replay. They're gonna be your child. So literally, all you're arguing right now is if it's of your genetic makeup or not. So yeah. no, I'm not even talking about genetic makeup. I, I'm. It's like I. Well, then you I can... want. I want the Schroeder name to continue. Why? Perfect. Then just adopt a child and give them the last name Schroeder, and that's all you have to do. That's not any other questions. I would, I would want to do though. Why? It's like okay, why want you that you're part of your family, but I, you know what? I will be your father. They're your family. Stuff. That's like saying well, I'm. I understand not, that. Am, am I your brother? Friend. Would you adopt me? I will adopt you. Exactly. Can I be a Schroeder? Yes. <laughs> okay, problem solved. But the but the problem is you don't want children. <laughs> okay. But at, at the end of the day, I understand it comes down to the genetics. It's got to be in your genetic well, line and all that kind of stuff. No, no, it, no, no. it doesn't have to be the genetics thing. It's but nothing also, to do with genetics. But also, if you it's, adopt it's, somebody, if you adopt a child, I would I would almost want to give them the option: Would you like to keep your birth name, or would you like to have my name? It's always another person's option. I don't want the Schroeder name to die. That is what I want. For, for why? Just because of a, a history or lineage? I mean, not, not even saying history or line, lineage. I, I am so proud of my family. I love my family. It is so derived around my family. Well, the fact that you're not saying the Schroeders, you're saying my family, implies that it doesn't matter what label you put on it. You can be proud of them regardless of what you call them. You know I'm right. No, you're, you're not right. You don't want I me mean, to be right. I mean, my family is the Schroeders, so that I, it, okay. people would understand that. It's like my family, there you go. And that, that comes from the Dorset side. That comes from the Schroeder side. Do you want your family lineage to continue for the next 10 generations? What do you mean lineage? Are you talking about DNA? No, no, no. Do you, do you want more Schroeders to be around for 10 more generations? Yes, I fucking do. Why? Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Let me clarify. Let me, let me finish my point here. You because know, I'm proud of my name. Okay. Why? No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. You stop. You stop. Okay, I'll stop. And you that's mean, whenever he gets you drunk, like, you why, why, you why, stop why, stop why, why, yeah. why, 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 why? Shh. Both of you. You know the best way that you can continue to provide that the human species will survive in the world and reduce our impact on the environment? Do you think it will? No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking you. Do you know what it is? Adopting children. You know what the most impactful thing that you can do to reduce global populations and overpopulations? Not have children. So if you adopt children that are not without par- that are without parents. I understand that. So literally the best thing that you can do to provide that you as a single person can reduce the global impact of the environment, your global impact of the environment is to adopt a child or not have children at all. To ensure the lineage that the Schroeder name, whether or not you believe that that child is yours or do you want to label them as a Schroeder, 
if if I no, adopt no, some, if I adopt, okay, let me say this: if I adopt a child, it's gonna be shorter. It will be no. That's their opinion. That, no. that is their thing. Nope, that is their thing. How old is the child that you're gonna be adopting? It doesn't matter. We'll it say can it be to from you. anything. It's like okay, well, you keep the birth name until they're of age. I'm to gonna make be honest. A decision, okay, but they will. They would be my family, no matter what. If I adopted a child, that that is my fucking family. So it doesn't matter if it's your it doesn't matter child if or not. it's my child or not my point but exactly uh, thank you no, mic drop <laughs> mic drop mic drop cool but but you're that's coming that's, back to the family but that's coming back to the family as family there's the dorset side of the family there's the schroeder side of the family there are no sides it's all family yeah so that's that's why i want to say why. you're all working towards well, the no, same common no, goal there, there's a side thing Voice there down. is a side Voice thing down. because there's a Voice mother down. side there's no, a mother fine. side we're, we're not at there's all. a mother we're side and then there's a father side correct there are side we're family. Right on the same level. What? so no the reason why i say there why, are two sides of a family yes why? i because agree i'm proud of my fucking family I go and around. You should be proud yeah, of your exactly. family. Exactly. Then and, why? why and you, you can raise and why? adopt a child that you're proud of as well. Of it doesn't exactly. So yes. it doesn't it's matter like what label so, you put on that child's yeah. last name. I understand that's, that. That's it right there. And that's I understand what I say, that. Like, when I say like my, when I say, it doesn't matter what I'm called. It's a matter of what I do. Boom. Second mic drop. Yeah. So and that's where like I understand what you like. I I do understand the name thing. I do. That's not like. That's so not you're not question. asking me why. Well, when I ask you why, is because I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do for me, and I'm gonna like create something. All this shit. What we're doing right here, we're creating something. Oh, I agree, 100. percent So the idea is, it doesn't matter what it's called. But do, do you, you guys understand like what I was saying about like okay, so if even if I did adopt a child. You'd give them the option to take your name. They they are their own person when they come of age, and they can consciously make a decision if and they I take your name or not. Agree. That's can yeah. I don't disagree with that. Can I can I follow up on that? So I have a buddy. His name's Anthony, Black Anthony, who's adopted by an Asian family, cool. raised in an Asian family, and he was given Anthony. He, their last name is Chang. Anthony was raised as a Chang from two years old. And as a Chang, as like they changed his name to a Chang. Correct. Yes, and without get, at the option at, at the option of at ten and fifteen years old, they said, "Hey, would you like to be your actual last name?" And he says, "You know, it doesn't matter because I've been raised as a Chang all my life. My actual family wasn't here for me." Why would I want to be labeled as anything that other than what I am true to believe to and who my real family is? Because my real family didn't have the means or chose not to support me. So we, Yeah, we all have a friend in common that has done the same thing. So what I'm saying is you, know what I'm you, can, about, right? you can obviously give your child – adopted child the last name or not you can but my belief is when they come of age would you like my name or would you like to keep your birth name that is up to them okay so that's your only argument for it's not an argument that is my belief yeah, there's it's nothing up wrong with that. to them the, the, they are their the, own the, person you're making points that's, that's totally a... around what we're talking about so the final argument is i'm you... not you're talking about a name a chang okay you were raised as a chang Okay, do you want to change it back to your birth name or not? So at the we're end talking of, about birth names right now. Yeah, exactly. So at the end of the day, so I'm not you need to going know, around them. Do you agree that the best survival of your children would be to not have any more children and just adopt some, or not have children at all? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> because, because the only thing that you're indifferent about is whether or not you give them your last name. I mean, I'd like to have my own children, like my own DNA. I would. But that's just being selfish because then you're reducing your child's ability to have a sustained culture and have their own children and grandchildren. Because you're not the, reducing them. You, yes, you are. Because the largest impact on society is having more people in the world. The largest impact on global warming is by adding more people to civilization. And so at the end of the day, if you adopt a child rather than having a brand new one, you are facilitating 
a better, more sustainable lifestyle for the human race and potentially increasing the lifespan and or ability of your child to either adopt another child or not have any. <laughs> Can you argue with it? No, I mean, you can't. technically you can't. I mean, if you want to go scientific there, you fucking you well, go. Well, actually could, but the idea is I'm still the boat with no I kids don't whatsoever. I what people call me. <laughs> Jesus Lord. All right, we're already over that. Nobody yeah, gives a shit about what, we call, what you call us. <laughs> yeah. Seth's yes. over it, too. Seth, Seth has no, already admitted. No, he, he, he said it would be great if they were Schroeders, in which we, we can't disagree with. We already got past the point where he said he needed to have his own specific genetic children. He said he'd like to, but he would be okay with adopting a child, right? Yes, basically. Yeah, so I'd, it, it, at, I'd, I'd be a part of any child's life. I love children. It doesn't fucking And matter. they would be happy to have you as a father. So at the end of the day... The moral of the story is Seth disagrees about what or, whether you call him one thing or another, which is fine. But at the end of the day, we can all agree that we're more likely to survive as a species if we um, have less kids or none and just adopt the ones that need homes still because they have the toughest well, lives. Hey, there's, pl- there's, plenty of, there's plenty of children that don't have love, all that kind of shit. Like that, and that's kind of where I'm at with that. I don't even know the like that the, like we like might have yesterday. we should have looked up this like st- I mean we didn't think we were going to talk about this but we should have looked at like the statistics of like um kids in the system basically You can do it right now. How many adoptable children are there in the US? Uh, I'm sure there's fucking a lot. A lot. I have no doubts that there are a lot. No, that's yeah, like way too much. Yeah. Three million. Three million kids in the system. How many adopted children in the US? This whole packing You're thing tonight? Roughly not... 120K. 120K? In the US. No, that's a lot. I mean, yes, I agree that it was a lot. My whole point with all of it runs down to is when it comes to like names, my mother's maiden name. Smith. That is like the most common fucking name out of everything. Oh, okay. Smith. What's Kirby Johnson? What? Okay, I have I I have I have a story about that. My uncle's name. My half uncle. You have a story about your Johnson? No, I'm out of Alcoma Hall. Probably don't need anymore if you're gonna eat up early. You probably have a couple more before bed though, right? I mean, as long as as long as I go to bed by like ten thirty, I will wake up. So what I'm saying, my mom's maiden name is Smith, right? Her half brother, because my grandfather and my step grandma apparently were very creative. We'll just put it that way. Name this motherfucker John. His name is. Legit John Smith. <laughs> Why? Who the fuck names her kid in the 80s? Fucking John Smith. This guy's like three years old. John was a very common name, though. His name is John, John Mike, Smith. Jennifer. Smith. John Smith. Congratulations. Cool. Sounds good. I like unique names. Don't Dumbest get me wrong. name on the planet. Yeah. Well, that just comes from, like, the trailer trash family. Yeah, that I am. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys that I found another Avery C? No? I did. Yeah. The same? The same? Identical name. What? Yeah. Because your name's, like, pretty unique. It's, it's like, Seth and Nicholas. Shit. Like, our names are not unique at all. Yeah. Seth, Seth is kind of unique. I mean, no, it's not. I Seth is not. Met, there was, I've only met two Seths in my entire life. Uh, then you have great attention. Yeah. You're leaving? Nine forty-five, bud. Or it's gonna be nine forty-five. Are we gonna end this? We have to end this. Yeah, we need to end it. Okay. All right, guys. All right, now that we've argued about all the bullshit, I think it was really fun. It was fun. Seth, do you feel attacked? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing it because we we want to widen <laughs> your view on life. We're just talking about that. You can still disagree with us tomorrow. And you can but, still have kids tomorrow, too. But please don't. I don't want to have kids tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, this is uh, Dick's Patio. This is Dick. 
Seth? Avery? Dick? Is that, is that Avery? <laughs> Uh, you have a wonderful night. We, well, yep. We're um, uh, these boys are going to be here for next week. It's going to be me. This is going to be somebody else. Dick Patio. Yeah. Dick uh, and some other people. It's going to be fun. And these guys going to be the next go. Like, have a good time without me because they're Maybe assholes. Maybe we'll record a uh, Dick's Patio Abroad session. Well, you, uh, so mm-hmm. I'm thinking about this, actually, when I'm gone in April. As we uh, were closing out, we're doing yeah. it. Yeah. So, <laughs> in April, when I'm gone... We're going to do one where I'll, I'll set it up, but I'm going to do one. Evan's going to be with me with my, on my phone there, and we'll set it up like a stream to here. Yeah. Do the whole thing. So you guys will be here, and me and Evan will be out there. And it's going to be a, a fucking good time. I'm done. Uh, that's a couple months away. But next week, these guys are in Mexico. Sit in the sand. Have a way too good of a goddamn time. See you boys in Mexico. Mexico. I'm doing it with Kate, probably, so it's going to be a good fucking time. Keep your clothes on. Catch you next yeah, week. Maybe. Next week. Next two weeks. Dick's cutting. Crap. Dick's cutting.